Good morning, everyone, and good evening, everybody in Asia and South Asia. Uh, I miss you all, and I hope today we will have a good time together. Before we start today, uh, I want to say to my beloved people in Indonesia, as I promised you before, to give you my book for free as soon as it's finished, translation to the language of Indonesian. I keep my promise. This is the book. I will post the link. I want people to download it immediately because the link will be disabled soon uh, due to the many click. You know, you, yeah, this is what uh, Google do. If many people are clicking at the same time, you know, usually they will disable it. And uh, uh, me, myself, I will remove it. So I want people to share the link uh, in the beginning just only to download. And then please make your own link share it in your own G Drive. It's very easy. If you do not know how to post a, a file in G Drive, you, you know, you can watch any video on YouTube and then share it with your friends all over Indonesia. Now, just before I post this uh, uh, book, I did not read it because I don't speak the language. And I'm assuming that the translator, he did a great job. So I want to say thank you for the translator. And I hope that's all of us. We pray for this person. He did really a volunteer job. He did not get paid. Um, he did not get a penny. I don't even know him. He don't know me. So uh, the Lord always provides us with good people to do the good work. And I'm very thankful for this person, even though I do not, I never even spoke to him. Uh, and I'm thankful for everybody help me in what I do. But because we care really, and because, uh, you know, uh, Book, you know, for me, it can you know, provide me an income, as you know. But having uh, more than 200 million uh, people in, uh, in a country who need badly such information, so they will leave this cult. It's more important than making a few dollars to support me. And the Lord always is our provider. So this is the link. <clears throat> uh, Click on it and be sure that just tell me please if the if the download is working. And right away after you download it, please uh, post the book in different G drive and share it with your people. And this is again Indonesian book only. No one allowed to share any other book than this one Indonesian. All right. All right, let us uh, download please and share it with your people. And share it by making your own link. As I said, this link soon will be disabled. So you will have your own link. And uh, let everybody read and let everybody laugh at the claim that Quran is full of science. This is Quran and science. And everybody will see, you know, after reading this book, that Islam and science, they don't match at all. It's a joke. It is a total, total joke. Uh, and they try to manipulate you, try to fool you, try to make you believe in something does not exist. And this is the whole point of approving our, our uh, uh, you know, uh, claim that if Islam is a good religion, why they need to lie to us to make us believe in this cult? You know what I mean? This is a very clear proof that this religion is not a good religion. In the same time, I want the Ustad of Indonesia the Ustad of Indonesia, is who they are, <clears throat> as we saw the Ustad of Indonesia, they will not uh, uh, make a speech unless they get paid $6,000. I want them to read my book, especially now it is for free, especially now it is in Indonesian, so they have no excuse whatsoever. Those Indonesian Ustaz, who they are fooling many naive people, they are defending what? Read and be my witness. Everything you will see in front of you from their books, everything with reference, everything is coming from their own writing. This is the handwriting of Muslims. This is what is collected by Muslims through centuries. This is Muslim book, not Christian book which mean me, they are just making comment about what we see. That's it. Otherwise, the book really is made by the Muslims. All what I did, I transformed the information from a language to a language, 
and then I add my own comment you can notice where's my comment where I'm saying what is that what is this and that's it the rest of the book is Islamic book it's a 100% almost an Islamic book so how this is can be a religion how those people they can explain to us what they have what they believe in what is the Ustad of Indonesia to answer my book and to refute me? I want people who they are Indonesian to cut the part where we are speaking about giving the book for free, making a challenge to all Indonesian Ustad and make it with its own independent video, short video, before we start our main video for today and say, hey, Ustad, the one you call yourself Ustad, where are you? When you are going to answer this guy? Here we go. Now he have a book in Indonesian language and you have no excuse to say I don't know what he's saying now those who want to get my books in other languages you can order them from amazon.com all right we have uh, 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 four books published just in the last 48 hours uh, six and Allah in Germany in German language and six and Allah in uh, Dutch uh, volume one and volume two all right so we are waiting for the Ustad and look at their smile. I mean, they are really professional. And for sure, they knew what they are talking about. Are you kidding me? They can answer you so easy, Christian Prince. Like, come on. Those who stud, you know, not only they are good in eating your food and shish kebab and asking you for a lot of money for a speech, they are good in answer too. You want to bet? Just wait. They will make an answer you cannot believe. Who was here yesterday when we have two Muslims who speak Arabic and they claim to be sheikhs and we showed them what it, it says in their prophet book that if the prophet his eye fall into a woman the husband must divorce her immediately do you remember what happened the video is there and the Muslim they flagged the video they thought they can take it down but you cannot first of all people they download my videos immediately secondly uh, some of them even they stream it to their private and then after we finish streaming, they publish it, which means it's already saved. Secondly, uh, YouTube did not take your side because uh, uh, we don't teach hate and we will never teach hate against Muslims. Actually, all my work because I love Muslims, not because I hate them. Otherwise, why I want to give my, the major of people who will be able to read my book now for free is Muslims, not Christians, because Christians are a minority in Indonesia. So we love Muslims and we will never hate them. And a Christian person, he cannot be Christian if he hate people around him, including the Muslims. So me and myself, if I if I became a hater or a person who hate the Muslims, that's mean I am not a Christian no more. I hate lies. I hate deception. I hate to see Muslims being deceived. I hate to see the Muslims being lied to. I hate to stay watching and not to save them because I love them. We don't hate the Muslims and we will never hate them. Everything we do is an act of love, not an act of hate. Now, that being said, I hope the Indonesian will take this part of the video, cut it off from the rest of this video, and they will publish it uh, as a gift for the people of Indonesia with my love to all of you. Uh, Indonesia is very beautiful country and Indonesia deserve better Indonesia is an amazing country for two reasons it's not only the land the land is a land and all lands is created by God so all lands are beautiful but there is something very unique you have people who have good heart so not only they are people who they are created by God there are people who have a good heart so this beautiful land is occupied with the beautiful people and those people they deserve the best and really I love them I love people in Philippines I love people in, 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 in India you know God he love his people this is why he will never leave you alone always always he will send you somebody to help you and to give you what you need to know so with this we start our topic for today and because this is a new video we have to start with the new music again sorry for that thank you
All right. We are back. Evidence of the truth of the Prophet Muhammad. You know, <clears throat> sometimes you see the title. If you are a believer, your eyes now will be feel full of tears, like evidence of the truth of the Prophet Muhammad. I mean, and look at the question. The question is really embarrassing. The question, there is a converted Christian who does not believe in Quran, which means he is a Muslim who became a Christian. That's what this guy is saying. We had many argument over this issue. Still, he does not believe Muhammad is being a prophet of God. I somehow feel that I should help him in knowing the actual truth. I mean, this is actual truth. Can you help me? And for sure, he's asking the scholars. And come on, the scholars will help you. The scholars will help you. Praise be to Allah. First of all, it is essential to understand that guidance to true religion in Islam and believe in the Prophet Muhammad. Uh, peace be and blessing of, and of Allah be upon him. Of Allah be upon him. Well, a blessing of Allah, and this is okay. okay. And then <clears throat> the message he brought come about only by Allah, by the help of Allah. Okay, how Muslims, how we know that this is happened by the help of Allah? Secondly, how we know that even your Allah is exist? That we require to explain this and produce evidence to it. Well, this guy is asking you for the evidence. There is a great deal of a clear evidence, guys, take a note, clear evidence. I mean, they are not confusing, they are clear. The one who seek to find out the truth about the prophethood of a prophet Muhammad. And, you know, guys, they can't even say his name without saying uh, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which mean, does not mean peace be and blessing of him. It's mean Allah pray on him. Imagine how much they worship this man. What, you know, Christians who believe Jesus is God, we say Jesus. We Christian, we believe in Jesus as God. What we say, we say Jesus. Why only your man, he need a long line of, of praising. His name alone is the praised one, which is the name of God. This is what Muhammad means. But this is how much they worship this man. Based on fear. Allah chose him even though he had grown up as an orphan. And was illiterate mm -hmm. even though I mean what does this have to do with this uh, I mean do God uh, choose people have to be a son of somebody okay what about Jesus he is not he have no father your Muhammad is an orphan Jesus he don't have a father at all <laughs> according to Islam knowing neither how to read how to write and by the way where do you muslims get this is from like when he don't know how to write how to read any muslim can show me the evidence so we can laugh not a single evidence says that the quran never say that muhammad was illiterate in the meaning he cannot read and write and this is telling us that those who follow muhammad today they are unaware of their own scriptures the word ummi in arabic is the same as Gomai in the Hebrew, which means from the nations. He is not from the Jews. He is illiterate about the true God. That's all. Have nothing to do with Muhammad being able to read. Muhammad is copying the Jews in everything. Chapter 2, verse number 78. And there are among them illiterate who know not the book. I mean, how, why you are blind? Who is the illiterate is the one who know not the book. Do you see it? Illiteracy is not about knowing how to write, how to read. This is religious teaching. This is religion. So religion, when you speak about illiteracy, is speaking about someone who do not know God. Not about someone who do not know how to write, how to read. Just to give you an example, 
the Muslim they call us the people of the book does that mean all of us we knew how to read the book there's no illiterate in the time of Muhammad all of them they used to go to Harvard Harvard University all the Christians are called and the Jews called the people of the book why that's because they are not illiterate Muhammad was sent to the illiterate, which means he was not sent to the Christians. In the beginning of his life, he was supposedly claiming to be a messenger to the Arab pagan like him. Read, the, read carefully. The translation here is wrong. It says, I have submitted myself. This is a lie. I surrender myself. Let me zoom in. Uh, Muslim paper uh, just to bring your dad and don't talk to kids you have enough videos of you on YouTube I feel sorry for you I have I have surrendered myself entirely to Allah so everyone who follow me and say that to, to those who have not been given the book and the illiterate do you see it guys yeah, do you see the evidence from the Quran so the Quran divide people between two kind of people those who have the book, which mean the Christians and the Jews, and those who they are unlearned. <laughs> you see the ignorance? They can't even explain. They can't even understand their Quran. And yet they spread all over rumors that Muhammad was illiterate. He was not. This is why there's a hadith when Muhammad is supposed to be in the bed of death. He says, bring to me. I want a paper. I want a pen. I want to write something for you. After that, you will never lose your guidance. And this is a Sahih Hadith. So how a person who is illiterate, he says, bring me a paper. And the Muslim, they start, don't. Umar al-Khattab, he says, Qad hajara Muhammad, which means Muhammad became a crazy. Don't give him a paper. Hajar, you know, his brain immigrated his head. He's lost his mind. Because, and he said, so what the Quran for? Now he's going to write for us. And this is additional proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. Because if the Quran is the book of Allah, what else you want to write for them? They will never lose their way. So what the Quran was for all these years. So as you see, the evidence is so clear. The, the meant it will be written by others. I don't know what Muslim they are talking about. Look what I'm talking about. <clears throat> and look what they are talking about. Muhammad said, bring me a paper and pen. Bring me, bring me. Not to bring someone to write for me. And here the verse in the front of you saying, there is people who are given the book and there is people who they are illiterate. If you don't like the translation, we can change it for you. We choose different Abdul. Do you see it? Two kinds of people, Christian and Jews, they follow the true God. The rest are pagan, like Muhammad. This is why a different verse in the Quran says, you know not what the what faith was, and you know not what is God. You know not what is the book. You know not what is faith. So Muhammad was a pagan, pure pagan all his life, 40 years of his life. And then after he became a prophet or announced himself a prophet, he's still a pagan. Because he came back to his roots. He tried in the beginning to convince the Jews that he believed in the same God they believe in. He tried to convince the Christian, but he failed. And as soon as he failed, he went back to the Kaaba. Muhammad was not praying to the direction of the Kaaba most of the time where he was announcing himself as a prophet. Do you know why? Because he was trying to prove to the Christian and the Jews, I am not pagan like the Arab. And when they did not listen to him, they did not accept him for a second. He decided to switch his face from praying in the direction of Jerusalem to pray in the direction of Al Kaaba because he is a false man. Now we go back to the article. <clears throat> so, the first claim about saying Muhammad was an orphan, by the way, I don't think Muhammad was an orphan. I don't think even Muhammad was the son of this family. However, based on this in, in the Muslim books, Muhammad was born four years after his father's death, which is very funny. And this is why the Muslims believe that a Muslim woman, she can carry in a child even after her husband die for four or five or even ten years. Just because they want to cover up what happened with Muhammad. 
how Muhammad his father supposedly died four years ago and then the mother today she delivered a child you can search right now in in prophet Google peace upon him how long a woman she can be uh, carrying a child in her womb in according to Islam I can show you actually right now you will see tons of reference speaking about women she can do that in Islam for many many years <clears throat> Let us see. And this is science, by the way. This is the Islamic science. The funny there's a guy, he's a, uh, uh, in Patreon, he posts uh, for me. He's saying, Christian Prince, you are ignorant about the science of Islam. <sighs> yeah, I am ignorant about the science of Islam. Atwal mudda tamkuthu hal mar'a fil hamil. The longest period a woman she can be carrying a child. All right. The person is asking question. Okay, for how long a woman she can carry a baby? All right. Now, I'm going to translate the page in English. You see, this is Islam uh, key A info. The same website where it's answering them about the 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 guy who left Islam. The same website, but this is in Arabic. All right. So let us do this. The answer is not a Christian prince answering. This is Muslim answering. Translate it, please, to us. Hmm. Google now is doing the magic, translating. All right. Number one option, nine month. Number two option, read carefully with me, please. One year. Number three option, two years. Number four option, <coughs> three years. <clears throat> we are getting up now. Sorry, I need to get some water. Number four option, three years. Number, uh, here it says, number four, again, he repeat the same. Four years, which is doctrine of the Shafi'i and uh, uh, Hanbali, and the most famous word uh, of Maliki. I mean, who is left? This is the most majority of the Sunni. So, four years. Four years. Okay, continue. Five years, Imam al Malik. Six years. Seven years. It's like an auction, you know? And then, <clears throat> uh, here it says, etc., 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 and bin Baz, blah, 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 you know, okay? Uh, what, what the number he says uh, <clears throat> yeah they are giving you <clears throat> more more numbers <clears throat> but I don't see here the 10 years I don't I don't know why he did not mention it so this is the Islamic science so imagine you you know you divorce your wife after eight years she call you say hey Abdul Come and uh, pay for the bill for uh, the hospital. I just delivered a child. Yeah, they divorced ten years ago. Stupid idiot! Don't you know that in Islamic teaching, brother, you can't have a baby even after ten years from divorcing me. The guy he divorced you ten years ago, and now you delivered his baby. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. There's no 10 years in the fatwa, but there is 10 years. This is a fatwa. So here, the, the max they reach here is seven years. Actually, here they say there is no end. There is no end. Which means can be 20 years, you see it? No end. Any comment? Hmm. Anyway, then here he continues saying, uh, you can read, you know, let us go to the evidence. The revelation of Allah was bestowed upon the prophet peace upon here we go 
and the angel revelation okay we, how we can be sure there's no witnesses there's a guy his name is Muhammad he says he sees somebody his name is Jibreel and then after some time we discovered that Jibreel he look exactly like a guy his name is Dahil Kalbi how we know that this guy really seen in Jibreel if we go right now in the hadith what we will find <clears throat> Read and love. My keyboard today is acting. <clears throat> I type something, it comes something else. Huh. Give me a second to show you the hadith. <clears throat> All Muslim witness that Muhammad was seen a false angel. He came to him in the image of a guy, his, his boyfriend, his name, Dahil Kalbi. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this one cannot be found too. Hold on. Oh. Let us see this hadith. There's many hadith, but not all of them translated. Do you see it? In different hadith it says it clearly that he look exactly like this is a translation he look exactly as the hell let me let me let me get you that one so Muhammad he meet his boyfriend and the hell was a very handsome man young man and Muhammad he claimed that this is the this is Jibreel read carefully is that my word? Is that a, is that a hadith rejected? Is it authentic? It is yes, authentic. It says, <clears throat> Muhammad is speaking, saying, "I do not know him more than any man among you. That was Jibril. Peace be upon be upon you, who come down in the form of Dahiya al Kalbi. I mean, how clear we can make it more than this." But the Kalbi is a guy, he live in the town and he come to the house of Muhammad every day. So Muhammad, he claim that this guy, each time he come, this is Jibreel. The Kalbi was a very handsome man. And according to Muhammad, the Kalbi is coming in the image of this man. So now we have two the Kalbi in town. Is that me saying that? No, this is your prophet, this is your writing, this is your printing, this is your website, this is your publishing. <clears throat> Indonesian people who did not download the book yet, please click at the link which posted uh, previously about Quran and science and depth where we give the book in Indonesian language only, only in Indonesian language for free as a gift from me. Don't forget to do that. So who is Muhammad and who was Muhammad seen? Was he really seen a, a, an angel of God? According to Muslims, Muhammad was a crazy man. And this is the proof. The Muslim, they say that the prophet was bewitched, but we knew in science there is no such a thing. What bewitched? A person who have mental issues at the old days they said he was bewitched because they can't explain what happened and what's happening once the prophet was bewitched so that he began to imagine that he had done a thing which in fact he had not done do you see it okay if you Muslim saying to me and this is Sahih Bukhari that you have a prophet he imagined had done a thing what like what 
Like what? Like he been he, he saw an angel? Like what? He went to the sky? Like what? He went to Jerusalem? It is you saying to us that the prophet he imagined himself had done a thing. It's you. This is not the Christian. This is not the Jews. This is not the Hindus. This is you saying to us the prophet imagined that he had done a thing. In fact, he did not. If today we bring you a guy and we say that this guy he imagined that he's done a thing, but in fact, he did not. You don't even hire him for a job. Because if he work in a grocery store, he will imagine that he took money from that guy, but that guy did not pay. He will imagine that he delivered the grocery, but he did not. He put it in a different place maybe. Maybe he did not even touch it. You cannot hire a person like this. Please, uh, admin, if you don't mind, post the link. Here we go. This is the link again, guys, for the, for the book. Don't forget to download it and share it in different link because soon this link will be disabled. All right? This is temporary link. So please download the book, post it as you wish, whatever you want in G Drive, share the link with your friends, etc. Again, this is Quran and Science in depth in Indonesian language. A gift from me for as a free. A free, nobody allowed to sell it back. All right? This is for free. And as soon we get... Quran and uh, Islam and uh, uh, sorry the deception of Allah I translated I will post it for you again as a gift too we are waiting for that to be done so Muslims who is a Muslim he have something for us to say you see Muslims we really we really loves you and we want to save you how you believe in such a man your prophet cannot even work in the post office who is going to hire such a man Hey, did, hey, Muhammad, did you deliver the mail? Yes, I delivered it. Second day, nobody get his mail. Why? Because the Prophet was imagining. The Prophet was imagining that he deliver, he be, is bewitched. I mean, aren't you worried that people will say to you, you are believing in a bewitched Prophet? If I say right now, if from now on we start saying, hey, how is your bewitched Prophet? The Muslim, they will feel insulted. But this is what you call him. Is that right? This is what you Muslim, how you, how you Muslim you present. So from now on, we should say, Prophet Muhammad, the, the bewitched, peace be upon him. Is that right? Or I'm fabricating things. Prophet Muhammad, the bewitched prophet, or the bewitched prophet Muhammad, peace upon him. Choose one. I don't know how you want to write it down. The one is asking how to get the book, my friend. They are posting a link for you. Click at the link and you can download it. And I hope Indonesian people later they will post it around all over the internet so Indonesia would have it easy. What do you think, Muslims? Can we call uh, a Muslim saying to me, liar? Liar, why? Liar, why? And liar in what? It says in the front of you, he was bewitched. And what bewitched mean? Mean controlled by the devil. Because according to Muslims, <clears throat> when, the, when the magic control you, the Muslim believe in magic. You know the Old Testament speak about the magic, but this is what what the what the magician thought about Musa. But Ma Musa did not make magic. Musa he made a miracle. For them, this is magic. And here we need to ask ourselves: <clears throat> when when Muhammad was bewitched. Where is the protection of Allah?
Any Muslim? Where is Allah protection? Why all those things happen to Muhammad? Muhammad not only bewitched as Muslim they claim and he began to imagine things Muhammad he have more far problems Like this Muhammad he cannot even remember or he imagined himself having sex with his wife but in fact he did not I mean do you see how bad the case is so how this man can be a prophet of God this guy he don't even remember if he have sex with his wife or not and he think he had sex how this person will recite Quran for us this is why Muhammad when he recite Quran he cannot repeat the same verse twice correctly because he's a fabricator this is why Muhammad in different place in the Quran he says the following which I find it one of the most hilarious verses in the Quran supposedly the one is talking is Allah he says none of our revelation do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten hold on hold on hold on hold on the Muslim they say we Muslims we never forget Quran Allah he says you Muslims you cause to forget the Quran who is of you is lying I got you a witness his name is Allah this witness saying that yes the Muslim cause to forget the Quran your Muslim you say no 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 we never forget the Quran okay I want the Muslim to recite for me the chapter of a breastfeeding for adult who want to call me right now and recite for me the chapter of a breastfeeding I'm nearly interested in this uh, chapter especially it's for adult I am I am an adult as you know Hmm? Have you ever heard of a prophet? He come with such an idea that if a woman she have somebody a male in her house Or she want to see a man alone. She have to give him her breast to suck at ten time and this is supposed to be God We are talking about the prophet evidence. This is always about evidence. What's wrong with you? Aren't you watching? This is all is about the evidence what is evidence evidence is what Muhammad the evidence what Muhammad did this is what Muhammad did this is the accomplishment of a prophet of Allah he taught Muslim women he gave them verses from the sky it came from the sky with a spaceship the alien Jibreel he delivered it to Muhammad the alien Jibreel he says Muhammad I want you to tell your people that a woman she give she have to give her breast boing 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 and then a man he have to suck it ten different time until he is satisfied this is the evidence and they are big and round and you are telling me what is the evidence and they bounce what do you mean where is the evidence what kind of a prophet this prophet is and where is the verses here we go Muslim you say you never forget Quran I want you to recite for me the chapter of a breastfeed for adult I want to make it as I want to sing it every day from the morning especially like uh, I'm single I wake up in the morning I say what I will okay I don't take a breakfast but I don't mind really I mean if there is a free milk and they will suck what women they, they, women they are not a faucet when they have milk all the time women they have milk only if they have a baby so what the breastfeeding for adult the woman who came to Muhammad about this issue she don't have a baby so the guy he will suck what exactly to the point even Aisha she was ordering her sister to suckle anyone who want to enter or her nieces 
who want to enter upon her. How that can be? So if you want to go and meet with Aisha, Aisha, she have her sister uh, sitting outside and say, hey, uh, you want to see Aisha? Uh, I'm her secretary. You have to suckle my breast. Me. Imagine if Aisha is still alive and this business is going. You will find like 10 millions every morning in your, in your door. Men. Do we have any Muslim want to say something? So when when they say to us that there is evidence about the prophet being a prophet, I I you know I, here we go. This is your evidence. And who ate the Quran? The Quran is preserved, brother. The Quran is preserved. Okay, what is your evidence that the Quran is preserved? Uh, it's preserved. Okay, I get it. What is your evidence that the Quran is preserved? Do you have any evidence? What do you have? What we have in the front of us is the opposite. The Quran was not preserved. The Quran was eaten by a goat and this is why if you go to the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia You will see the most wanted goat She's wanted for her crime She ate the Quran And until now we are looking for this goat if your God could not stop a goat from eating the Quran, what else? Uh, for sure, you will accuse the Christian and the Jews that they are the one behind sending the goat to eat the Quran. So you Muslims now, you will not enjoy the breastfeeding for adults. Actually, I am so angry from this goat. If we have this verse, it will be the most hilarious verse in the book. This is what you Muslim you say the, the goat ate the verse the verses not me saying that the verse of stoning and breastfeeding for adult ten times how many ten times breastfeeding for adult ten times yes because the woman she have to suckle the man ten times in ten different day entity is satisfied that's fantastic. You go inside your house, you find a man laying down in the lap of your wife, suckling her breast. You say to her, what are you doing? And she said to you, Ibn al if you do go in the book of Sunan Ibn Nada, and value number three, book number nine, hadith number 1944, you will find that it said that the Prophet, he ordered women to suckle and the the deen. And this is what the verse in the Quran. And now you shut up because it's the prophet order. This is Allah order. She's not doing anything wrong. She is just feeding the neighbor. Halal. Halal breastfeeding. I mean, what do you want more to prove that Muhammad is a prophet? Let us continue. All right. <clears throat> so the angel gave him revelation. And from the revelation is a breastfeeding. And any woman she want to give herself to the prophet. Okay, let us see. His companion witnessed this when he received revelation. The companion witnessed this when he received revelation. Are you sure? <laughs> okay, Muslims, you want to show me the companion witness Muhammad receiving revelation? Did they did they witness really? 
the companion witnessed that this guy he looked like the Hill Kalbi. This is what the companion witnessed. The companion witnessed that Muhammad is bewitched. A guy he took some hair from his uh, and he uh, you uh, made of uh, this is what the companion witness here. We were in front of us. Jibreel, peace be upon you, who come to down in the form of the Hill Kalbi. This is what they witness. That there's a guy, he look exactly like what's wrong with Allah? Uh, everything is a cloning. Jesus in the cross, it was not Jesus. The Hill Kalbi is not the Hill Kalbi. This is Jibreel. Jibreel, he come again to Muhammad in the image of oh, sorry, Shaitan. He come to Muhammad in the image of Jibreel. Is that true, Muslims? There is a shaitan, his name is Al Abyad. Al Abyad, which means the white. But shaitan in Islam is not a white. So why he's called the Abyad? Because he changed his look to be from normal shaitan to look exactly like Jibreel. And he is the one who gave him satanic verses. Let us continue. Why we have only 1,283? And why we have only 700 like? And why we have only 25 dislike? I mean, come on. Those who like to give me dislike, make it higher. I don't like low number. We want big dislike and we want big like. The one who like it, give me like. The one who don't like dislike it, give me dislike. I mean, do something. We just gave you in the morning breastfeeding for adult. What's wrong with you? Do you want Allah to curse you? There's a guy, there's a guy. He start, you know, he did not give me this like. Honest to Allah, he woke up in the morning here and he looked like a Christian prince. Hey, well, uh, Allah curse him. Look how, how ugly, disgusting. Are you serious? Yes, he looked like Christian prince. Imagine you sleep in the at night and you are a handsome, good-looking person. You wake up in the morning, you look like me. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't want that to happen to you. So please either give like or dislike. Hello. Oh, you for I forgot you just remind me of something. As long as you are talking about my look, which is really amazing. I cannot go in the elevator because they have mirror there. I got scared. Now look at this. The proof that Muhammad is a prophet. Chapter 4, verse number 47. The prophet. He threatened the Christians if they don't believe immediately. Allah will erase the details of their face. Your eyebrows will go, your eyes, your nose will go inside your head. Your mouth will be in the back of your head. I mean, look at this. This is if you don't believe a brother. Right? Yeah, we have somebody is calling. Don't call me unless you are a Muslim, please. Uh, he claimed to be a Muslim. Let us see. I don't know. Answer, my friend, answer. Okay, if you don't answer, I will block you. Oh, people of the book, believe in what we have revealed, confirming what was already. By the way, it doesn't say what was. This is a lie. And then, otherwise, we are going to change the face and fame of some of you. Some of you. Where it says some of you? Fast translation. Not Musu Wujuhan. doesn't say some of you. Absolutely fast translation. Change the translator. Some of you, huh? Mm. 
let us see a different liar you change the translation everything change it's like a new verse oh who have been giving the scripture believe in what have revealed to you okay <clears throat> Confirming what is already with you. You see the one before he says be was with you before no It was is already is with you confirming what is You see we just changed the translator. We did not change the book and both of them are Muslims <clears throat> All right we have another Muslim. Hello? Hmm. Here we go. A Muslim, he is explaining to us about the breastfeeding for adult. That is the answer. We have another Muslim. Hello. Yes, my friend, how are you? You are live on air. What do you like to say to us? <clears throat> oh. <laughs> okay, um... I just I just want to say right that um you know you know um what well, the, the okay if if Christian if Christianity is so special hmm. okay why then um is there no guarantee of salvation who said that to you Jesus, he said, whoever, whoever believe in me and I will live. It is you, because Muslims, it is you, Muslims, who believe there is no guarantee for salvation. And let me show you that. The Quran says, وَمَا مِنْكُمُ إِلَّا وَارِدُهَا Do you know what does that mean? Not a single no, no. one of you, but he will enter <laughs> hell. Yeah, because you always quote, you always quote this verse, right? No, I don't you always, always but I have many that. of them. This is one of many. So you agree? No, no, no. So you agree with the Quran no, saying? No. no, I don't. I don't quote only this verse because I have many verses. I will show you. No problem. Read with me. How the Quran no. says no. that each one of you Muslims mm -hmm. will go to hell. Uh huh. Hmm. Oh yeah, in Surah Maryam, that one, right? Uh, I think I know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. No, no, no. But what what I mean is that because you always quote the Bible, right? That not everyone who calls me Lord, Lord. Yes, because sure, sure. this and verse is speaking sure. about hypocrite. Read the rest. People who do, people who do work for their glory, not for the glory of God, they are hypocrite. So Jesus is not the same as Muhammad, who says to you, "Say shahada." Jesus, he don't care for your shahada because your shahada is a false shahada if you don't mm. practice what you witness for. Mm. And good tree give good fruits that's why jesus says from their fruits you shall know them so what he will know you how he will know you mm -hmm. it's a christian who have a believer who have the fruit of jesus so if you are a christian who don't have a fruit it's mean you are a fake christian you are a christian by name so salvation is granted for those who are a true christians fake a christian doesn't work saying okay lord 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 from now until tomorrow if you don't really believe from your heart you will not be saved. Secondly, how you believe in your heart, but yet you have no good fruits. It's like mm. saying to me, I am a, I am a supermarket. And then we go inside to find the shelf all empty. So why you call yourself supermarket? What is super about you? Yeah, but I thought I thought the Bible says, right, that we are saved by faith alone and not by works or something like that right no my friend it's not your it's not your work will save you yes it's your faith but faith automatically automatically mm. bring the fruits which mean faith and uh, the bible says too that faith without deeds is a good is, is a dead faith dead 
faith. So imagine Jesus says to you, okay, I was hungry and you feed me. I was a stranger and you took me in. I was a prisoner and you visited me. But you don't do that. That means you have a dead faith. You are not really a faithful person. So it's not your work will save you. It's your belief. But if you are a person of a true belief, then the work will come. So how mm -hmm. we how we recognize the person, not by saying I will Lord Lord, but by the fruit. Because if you are a true believer, then you you have a good fruit. Mm -hmm. So it's not the fruit will save you. It's your true faith. But how mm -hmm. we examine the true faith <coughs> by the fruit. You get the point? Yeah. Actually, I want to ask you right mm -hmm. because I'm confused. Actually, in Islam, there are some. Hadith, right? That say that um, you know, there are some hadith that say that every Muslim will will go to heaven, right? No, we go to. Jannah. See, Muhammad. Let me explain to you, my friend. Uh, uh, as long as you open this but, topic, but, the prophet but, but, he says the hadith. opposite. You see, the, the, one one of the proof that Muhammad is a false prophet is the following: Did your prophet says that no one of you save him his work? Yes or no? Sorry, again, one more time. None of you. Saved uh -huh. by his deeds, yes or no? Uh, are you referring to the hadith where Aisha was at the funeral and then no, he said no, no, no. no. Okay. Here we go, read it in yeah. front of you. It's sahih. None of you, you mm -hmm. see the translation here. It says who do deeds alone. The hadith doesn't say alone at all. This is false translation. It says there's none. This is the Arabic one. If you speak Arabic, it says, قَالَ, قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ لَيْسَ أَحَدٌ يُنْجِيهِ عَمَلُهُ قَالُوا وَلَا أَنْتَ يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ قَال وَلَا أَنَا إِلَّا أَنْ يَتَدَارَكَنِ اللَّهُ مِنْهُ بِرَحْمَةِ The Prophet yeah. said, none of you is saved by his work. Not only yeah. you see here they add the word alone, that's a lie. And then they said to him, Even your prophet of Allah, he says, Even I, unless Allah hold him warp me with his mercy. Do you see it? Yeah, I know, but okay, but but why no, what do you mean you know? Hold on, hold on. What do you mean you know? Isn't it the Quran says that the one who give loan to Allah, Allah will forgive his sin and will take him to heaven? Yeah. Okay, isn't it this is a contradiction? Which one is true? Muhammad teaching yeah, here why, or Muhammad teaching there? Yeah, that's why that's why I'm confused. Because there are some hadiths that say, right, that all Muslims will go to heaven. Yeah. But then there are also hadith that say that Muslims not all will go to heaven. So I don't know which my friend, is the my friend, no friend, my friend. Muhammad is a false prophet. He cannot hold his mouth for the same sentence twice. This is why he made <laughs> verses saying that uh, uh yeah. Any verse we cause to be forgotten or yeah. we abrogate. Why do you know what is the, what is behind this statement? Do you have an idea? No. Okay. The okay. Muhammad, he says something in the morning. He changed his mind afternoon. So the Arab, they were laughing. Okay, what kind of a prophet this prophet is? In the morning, mm -hmm. he says something. Afternoon, he says something else. Okay, well, well, do he have one God or two gods? It's, it's just like okay he go to sleep he woke up in the morning he come with a new verse contradicting the first verse so uh, uh the, the 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 arab but what, they, they but what is muhammad the, what, for a very that, serious reason but what is the standard belief do, do they actually go to heaven or obviously obviously, obviously my friend first of all muhammad is not a not, not a prophet. So what heaven you are talking about? And what kind of heaven? This heaven where women they will be inside packages, they will say inside the cabbage. Sorry, what kind of heaven? You enter the heaven and there is women fighting over you to sleep with you. I mean, is that really a heaven? This is a pimp house. When you talk about heaven, I really I I, I question myself. I mean, how Muslims even they speak about heaven? Did you ask yourself how God became a pimp? How God he provide you? I mean, God he could not make me happy. God is the creator of all kind of happiness in life, the real happiness. Not sex. Mm -hmm. Sex is exists for a reason. So we reproduce as long in the heaven there is no reproduction. Nobody have babies. So what the point of this uh, sex? Allah could not find a better way except a grape. Grape. Grape and wine. 
and naked mm-hmm. women and boom boom so mm-hmm. you know how that can be obviously the nature of the heaven of mm-hmm. islam is a proven to us that mm-hmm. islam to be a false religion the promises have you ever heard a, 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 of a prophet he he promised you to wear a bracelet of gold in different verse he's contradict himself he forgot what he said he's a bracelet of silver why i don't know what's your name my friend what's your name uh imran that's imran. my real name okay i'm wrong so are you really happy that you will have a bracelet made of gold in heaven <laughs> why are you are laughing i mean come on this is a bracelet of gold finally you will have a bracelet of gold. i mean this is heaven so what kind of god this god is a priest of gold what this god is talking about so now mm-hmm. because i pray to allah five times a day all my life he will give me a green silk t-shirt and a bracelet of gold and that supposedly mm. is heaven and then women are fighting over sleeping with me so now in heaven i am not free i am more addicted into sex Beca- i became a mm. slave of sex because i don't have a choice that's it he made me he made me in a certain way he created me in a certain way and now i mm-hmm. have no choice except to do what Allah he made me for and not what he made me for he made me a sex machine and he created for me six uh, Barbies Th- their mm. job is to sleep with me they don't have other job they, d- they are not going to do laundry they are not going to do cook mm. they, are, they are not going to love me their job is sex mm. right I want you to okay. read something with me in the in the screen but I, I can't because I'm using my handphone Hmm. So I I can I can open up okay. the I will, I will post the link for you later you can read it please I will you know what I will post the link for you in in uh, in Skype you can open it okay. in your phone still right but I can yeah but I can I can download the video later right I can, yeah I can. but I want you to read Watch this it. you know save it for oh, your okay. preference it says when the disbeliever no. began to uh, drive the matter of abrogation saying that one day Muhammad he enjoy his companion with uh, the, to to one thing and then next day he forbid them. <laughs> do you see it, people? Do you see it? How this can yeah. be from God? In the morning he tell them to do something. Second day he go to sleep. He wake up. He come back. He say something else. How this can be from God? Mm. So the Arab, they were I laughing at him. They were saying, like, what kind of a prophet is, what kind of God is God? You know, uh, uh, God, he told Moses uh, something. Uh-huh. Musa did not go back and the second day and he, and not even a 10 year, not even 20 years, not even 30 years after, even he died and he did not change anything. This is God order. So if this is coming from God, why this guy, he go to sleep, he wake up in the morning, he say something different, the opposite. He forbid what he told them yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously this man is an idiot. Yeah, people they laugh at what he's teaching. So now he say, "Oh, oh, people are laughing at me. I should change it." He go home. He think about it in the morning. He say something the opposite. No, I, I, you know, actually, actually, um, I'm, I, actually, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Chinese. Okay, my my You're wife what? my wife is a Muslim. I'm a Chinese. Yeah, but you are a Muslim, right? Yeah, because my wife is a Muslim. Hmm. And. So now what you want to stay as a Muslim just because your wife is a Muslim? Actually, that is a very difficult question that I, I've always asked and no no nobody could uh, answer my question and uh those ustads that I actually ask they they are quite angry with me. So the, the question is is about you know you know prayer is uh wajib you know, in, in Islam, right? So, my friend, but before you go to the question, are you saying to me that you converted to Islam because of your wife, you marry a Muslim woman? Or you are from a Muslim okay. family? Sorry? Are you from a Muslim family? Sorry, born from, are you a born of a Muslim family or you converted to Islam because of you marry a Muslim okay. woman? Yeah, yeah. The second one. You you converted to Islam because you marry a woman? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, how do you do that? Just for the sake of a woman, you convert to the different religion? Yeah. So 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 the thing is that the, the question is that when you pray on a horizontal surface, mm. how are you going to face the <laughs> Kaaba? In fact, you know, so some of the Usta they give explanations like, you know, oh um 
the, the thing you can do is he try to get as close as possible to the Kaaba. You know, but I say, if you draw a straight horizontal line, mm. you will not end up at the Kaaba. You will end up in the sky. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Well, friend, not only that. Do you know that Indonesian, Indonesian, yeah, were praying to the wrong direction for the last almost a thousand years? No, whichever country you are from, it is impossible for you to face the Kaaba. I know, I know, I know. Because, because the earth is not a, the earth is not a flat, you know, right? Yeah, but but the Ustad, but the Ustad tell me, you know, hmm. uh, you know, you just don't ask so many questions, you know, don't ask so many questions. If if the direction is um, determined by the you know the ulama, so just follow the ulama, my friend. If they say this those, is the those right. ulamas are a bunch of joke. Look at this, guys. Indonesia Muslim turn a prayer back to Mecca after one thousand year. Where was Allah all those one thousand year? Okay, the Indonesian, the Indonesian people, they are people praying to Allah in the direction of the Kaaba. One thousand year yeah. pass. And then the American yeah. GBS taught them that this is a wrong direction. Well, where is the breed of Allah? Why Allah don't send his messengers? Why Allah even don't guide them? Yeah. You know? Because, because Secondly, the Quran, my, my friend, the Quran confirmed clearly that the earth is a flat. There's tons of verses in the Quran speaking about the earth is a flat. Don't you know that? Do you hear me? Yeah, you know, it's the only way that you can face the Kaaba if it's the earth is flat. Hmm. But science tells us that the earth is round. So if the earth is round, how are you going to face the Kaaba? That's what I'm confused about. You see, the Muslim, when they translate, they, they, they try to cover up. They say, and Allah has made to you the earth wide expense. The fact that it doesn't say, it says besought, flat like carpet. This is Quran, chapter 71, verse number 19. Different verse in the Quran, the Muslim, they say to you, the Quran says that the earth is round. And what they say? They say the Quran say the word the haha. The fact the word the haha is not round. It is making it flat, literally. Yeah. Chapter 79, verse number 30. There's like a thousand, two thousand million videos in YouTube speaking about this verse, saying Allah, he says the earth is round. Let me go to the interpretation and everybody will laugh. Chapter 79, verse number 30. Here we go. And this is their Muslim yeah. scholars. You will see that the earth is a flat. Allah is saying clearly that Allah He made it a flat. Not we are oh. not guessing. We are not guessing. This is okay. what the verse is saying. But in the YouTube, the Muslims, okay. uh, an idiot guy who don't you know he's a, he's a, he's a he's a, uh, a kid. He make a video saying that the word the haha mean round because mean it's mean the egg the egg brother egg. Do you see the word egg here? Read. It says, and after that, he spread mm -hmm. out the earth. He made it flat. It had been created mm -hmm. before the heaven, but without having been spread out. This is what the haha mean. But in the Muslim videos, the word the haha in a miraculous way became an egg. You can go mm -hmm. to any interpretation, Ibn Kathir, all of them. The word, the word the haha mean he made it flat. Oh, that means I, I think I think I understand what you mean now. That means you are saying right that the reason why Muslims are commanded to face the Kibla, the Kaaba is because Muhammad said that the the earth is, flat. The earth is flat. Yeah, like if you go, yeah. there's, there's different but, hadith. Yeah. There's different hadith where Muhammad he says the following: that Allah yes, He come right. down, Allah He come down uh, every night. In the third part of the night, then they have to explain. I lost you, my friend. What yeah. you were saying? It, it, it is, yeah, Imran. Okay, no, what you were saying, Hello? I lost you. I, I, your voice cut. Okay, so what I'm saying is that, right, the only reason why the Muslims are told to face the Kaaba, okay, hmm. uh, is because the Quran says that the earth is flat. Yes. Because if Muhammad knew the earth was round, he wouldn't have asked the Muslim to face the Kaaba because it's impossible. Okay. How do you how do you face the Kaaba? My friend, th this, is a, this is a hadith. Look at this. Muhammad saying, Our yeah. Lord, the blessed, the exalted, mm -hmm. descend every night to the lowest heaven mm -hmm. when one third of the later part of the night. Let us say the one third is like 2 a.m. in mm -hmm. the morning. Okay. 
so Allah come down every night at 2 a.m. in the morning but this is me and Muhammad saying that it is mm -hmm. only one time in the earth 2 a.m. in the morning everybody have night in the same time because if Allah he come down mm -hmm. every 2 a.m. in the morning that means Allah he cannot leave mm -hmm. because uh, uh, there is 2 a.m. in many time you know what I mean how many 2 a.m. we have mm -hmm. People, how many how many can give me a scientific number, please? How many time zone we have in this earth? I forgot, you know, since uh, I, I, we studied this when we were in a high school, I forgot the number. So we have many time zones. So uh, what 2 a.m.? That's mean Allah never leave the earth because he had to keep coming up, coming up, down, coming up, down, like take an elevator. What is that? So Muhammad is saying he come only once. He don't come the, coming up and down. No, he come. He descend only. At that time, 24, 24 times zone. That means Allah will never leave because the day is twenty four hours, <laughs> right? But, but, but that's, so but, but how that's how point. how Muhammad he say that because Muhammad he is speaking about a flat Earth. Yeah, correct. Yeah, I know the reason. The reason why I believe that he was speaking about a flat Earth is if he knew that the Earth was round. He wouldn't have asked the the Muslim to face the Kaaba because it's impossible. My friend, How do you my face friend, the Kaaba? Forget, forget about forget you know about the I mean? Kaaba. I have more important news for you. Forget about the Kaaba now. What about this? Yeah. What about this? The baby. How the baby is made? The baby made is from yeah. sperm, and the sperm became okay, a dead I, blood. Have you ever yeah, heard of a of a crazy I god have. like this? Okay, what kind of god he think that the baby was a sperm and they became and turned into blood and then the blood became a, 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 like a, a, a flesh mm -hmm. and then the flesh became a bone and then after the bone Allah he closed the flesh with, with uh, the bone with the flesh. How mm -hmm. that can be from God? Yeah, so, I, I've heard your uh, I've heard your explanation before. Yeah. So I'm I'm, I'm still I'm still trying to um, you know trying to digest you know. Is your you wife know, next what, what, to you, Amran? Is your wife next to you? Uh, no. Why you don't let her listen to this? Uh, she does. She, she doesn't understand. She doesn't understand English. Okay. Are you promising <laughs> you will explain to her in your language? Yeah. Okay. Promise. Yeah. Promise of a man, huh? Save this. Uh, uh, save this woman from this okay, cult. Okay. And what do you think now? Okay. As long as long, like you, like you, look like you are agreeing with me. So uh, you, you still think you are a Muslim? Why you don't leave Islam? Okay, can you can you can you can you can you, can you, uh, can you call me back in the block? Five five minutes time. Eh? Five minutes. All right. Take care. Okay. I mean, why in the world someone he marry a woman, and because of the woman religion he changed the religion to her religion? I mean, what is that? I mean, I'm not. I would never. I would never exchange my God for a woman. With my respect to all ladies in the world and the women she should not exchange her God to all men in the world how we do that how we betray the truth just for the sake of a person he will be in my bed Now, do we have any Muslim he want to say something to us? And then now the Muslims, when they try to give us evidence about Muhammad being a prophet, it's a funny evidence. What evidence? Allah supported the prophet, peace upon him. In a physical what? In a physical what? Miracles, like what? Muhammad, he have a physical miracles, which he challenged his people among the most important those who were spitting the moon. Well, hold on. Allah he supported Muhammad by splitting the moon. Let us go to the Quran and laugh. The Quran doesn't say that. <laughs> yes, I'm wrong. Uh hold on, hold on. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Hello? Yes, I'm wrong. What do you think about the moon splitting the Umran? The moon? The moon split. Muhammad, the Muslim, they claim that Muhammad he split mm -hmm. the moon. Is that true? I'm not, I'm not. I've I've never heard about that before. Okay, the verse in the front of us says the uh, the Muslim in the article saying the proof that Allah supported Muhammad with a with a with a miracle. Which miracle is that? 
Allah split the moon, but even the Quran doesn't say that. Read carefully. It says the hour has drawn near and the moon has been a cleft ascender. Mm -hmm. Here they put between two bracket the people of Mecca requested Muhammad SAW to show them a miracle and Then he mm -hmm. showed splitting the moon So yeah, the Muslim they claim that this is the Quran by the way doesn't say that it's it says it's a just said a short sentence in Arabic But the same verse the Muslim they use to prove to us that Muhammad is a prophet is the same verse proving to us Muhammad is a false prophet because Muhammad he said he claimed that judgment they started because when he say it's mean it's almost there and what is the sign here we go the moon is split but this was 1400 years ago and the moon did not mm -hmm. split this was the eclipse so eclipse happened Muslim claim that this is a miracle of Muhammad hold on if this is a miracle of Muhammad that's mean the Quran all of it is a fabrication because there's verses who came after this verse saying that Muhammad has no miracle mm -hmm. So how this is a miracle Allah he gave to Muhammad <clears throat> they, so can, I, can I ask you what is that they what, what is the Arabic what is the Arabic word for abrogation? Uh, yeah, because, because because I've ever asked uh, you know an Ustaz before So I say why is it that both both hadith are sahih? But the problem is that why are they saying different things? So then he told me, you know, the reason why there's a contra the so-called a contradiction is because of the rule of um well, what is that Arabic word again? Are you driving your car, my friend? Yeah, I just I just got down. Yeah. Okay. So um so, what, what, what was I saying just now? Okay, oh, yeah. So my friend, let me let me focus so, so, on my topic. Let me let me tell you something. I want you to listen yeah. carefully. Go and listen to my YouTube yeah. and I want you to call yeah. me. To confront to me that you really believe in Islam is not from God because obviously you are saying to me You don't agree with them and you agree with me. So why you are staying as a Muslim? Why you don't say right now? I'm out of Islam Yeah, you know, you know in my in, in my mind in my mind I have, I have many doubts, you know, okay So why yeah. you don't say right now? Those are not doubt those are we confirm them. They are true Muhammad is a liar obviously. So why you don't say right now? I am out of this cult why you are wasting your time? Yeah, yeah actually, I believe I'm already out uh, because I don't. Okay. I got too many so, doubts. I so, cannot, so cannot Umran, Umran, our friend Umran here, he just decided to leave Islam. That's wonderful. Umran, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to go yeah. and sit with your wife, bring her to sit yeah. next to you, ask her friendly, nicely. Yeah. Can you listen to this guy? I will translate to you. And then you and your wife, you are welcome to call me, even in private if you want. And you can translate to her, and I will be happy. To answer her questions and to show her that Islam is not from God. What do you say? Yeah. So we can save your family, all of them, not only you, because now half of the family is saved. Saved, let us say, not in the full meaning, saved from Islam, but still there's many things need to be saved from. So what do you think? Yeah, maybe one day, but I, yeah, but I have to, I have to explain to her. All right. Yeah. So now what do you think about being a Christian? You left Islam. You decide to leave Islam. Why you don't want to be Christian? Because because I'm not uh, because like I like I like I asked you earlier, I don't understand, you know, um is salvation guaranteed in, in Islam or hey sorry, is salvation guaranteed in Christianity? My friend, there's nothing it's called, because, there's nothing it's called guarantee. It's you who guarantees salvation for yourself. It's you. Let me explain to you. You have a house, right? Yeah. Okay. Who is the one who built your house? Who is the one who what? Who built your house for you? Yeah, I mean the contractor. <laughs> contractor. If the contractor mm. is bad, your house will collapse in the first earthquake. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the contractor in Christianity, it is you. You build your house. So you build your house either in a solid rocks or in a sand. So if your house is strong, built by you, by your hand, then your house will stay. Yeah. That is what Jesus he is saying to you. Your salvation is granted by your hand. You see, he saved you, yes. He, he opened the door for you. 
but he says knock at my door and I will open for you so who is the one who is going to knock which is you and what after that you have to to prove yourself that you are truthful not just a person a hypocrite who is saying Jesus I believe in you okay now I know that Jesus is powerful and I know he will send me to hellfire so I'm going to say to Jesus I believe in you but in the night time I'm going to go and do sell drugs at night time I'm a thief in night time I'm a rapist in night time so in the morning I say something afternoon I do something else so Jesus saying to you mm -hmm. it is you your faith this is what Jesus says your faith saved you your faith so if you have faith and your faith is a truthful you are guaranteed yeah. salvation so truth is no, no. there in the no, no. in the truth no, no. faith not just a, a person mm. saying a statement i believe in jesus as just like now you call mm. me says okay i want to be christian like muslim desu i want to say shahada who care about the shahada here this is this is this hypocrisy act the true shahada, the true witnessing, is to witness by your act. This is what I'm, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. I'm. I'm not trying to argue with you, but I just find it confusing because even even Christ even Christians, right? I mean, I I've spoken to them, you know. Even even Christians themselves, they are confused whether is salvation guaranteed or is it not guaranteed? No, those are those because are those are not really uh, uh, maybe they are naive christians they are christian by name there's no christian can be confused about salvation that's not true it take no, you two if, my friend it if, take you two seconds it take you two seconds to search prophet google peace upon him and you will find that christianity teach one one thing salvation is a granted in christianity but salvation is granted for hmm? true christians so is it good? Is it guaranteed or is it not guaranteed? It is, but for true Christians, not hypocrites. Why Why this is hard for you to understand? God, you cannot lie to God, can you? You think you can lie to God? So somebody says, okay, I'm going to say Shahada, but you don't believe really in Jesus. That person will not be no. saved. So saying I believe in Jesus will not save you. Doing. No, no. Doing. No, actually for, actually for me, I don't have a problem. I don't have the problem with the deity of Jesus Christ. Okay, the reason the reason is because because in, in, in even in the Quran, right, it says that um, Jesus was born without without a biological father, right? Hmm. You know? Yeah. So if Jesus was a human, then why is it that he doesn't have the father's DNA? Because every human has got to have the father's DNA as well, right? Right. So why do why do the Quran still call Jesus as a human when he doesn't have the father's DNA? Because in order for a baby to be formed, you need the father you need the father's and the mother's DNA, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I don't have a problem with the deity of Jesus Christ, but I, what I have a problem is not. It's, I won't call it a problem. My friend, my I, friend, my friend. I'm, Read the Bible. Well, I'm confused about no, you, you should not be confused. Yeah. The Bible is full of verses. You can go right now and type in Google where the bible speak about salvation and you will see the salvation is granted all over the bible but for true christians you cannot bribe god like somebody give donation and he think by giving donation he will go to heaven no false false you have actually the, 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 jesus he said if you give with the right hand don't let the left hand know and muhammad he copied that later so jesus he don't want hypocrisy he don't want people to repeat by their mouth but their heart is empty Jesus he want real Christians this is why I keep repeating this verse mm -hmm. not everyone says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will so here we have a condition the condition is to be truthful that's all so if you are a true Christian you do what a Christian do if you are a Christian you don't go rape you don't go kill you don't to go torture you don't go and hate the Muslims you don't go slaughter people you don't attack people you don't hurt people that what is a Christian is about so if you are a Christian you do what Christ did as simple as that no, but the problem yeah but the problem is that sometimes it's not that you don't want to follow the good teachings of the Bible you know but what if you are not a very strong person I mean like you know for example you know you get tempted by women you my, know, friend, by, my friend and, <clears throat> my friend my yeah. friend this is not really what we are talking about. Let us say, let us say, 
uh, I commit sin and who said to you I'm a perfect man who said to you I'm an angel who said to you that I'm coming from heaven who said to you I never commit sin who said to you I'm a person who never did something wrong that's not what we are talking about every human being do wrong but there's a huge difference between somebody he says to you mm -hmm. I you know like okay I believe in Jesus I etc and then I make my lifestyle not a mistake in my life I make my lifestyle wrong that's mean I'm a hypocrite I'm a liar but the person who commits and he repent to God he asks God please I fell down in this hole please help me that is accepted so uh, decency it's about decency no, no I'm talking no, I know I know what talking. you are talking about we you get tempted I got I, I, I you know I understand but decency then you if you are a decent person you will fight it yeah. you will do work hard you are you, you you always you will have temptation yes this is a true and God, He understand. Yeah. God, He knew how He made you. He's not a. Per he's not like just speaking from above from His balcony. I want you to be perfect, but He He don't understand your nature. This is why He sent you Jesus to save you because you have that nature. So He understand you very well. He understand your weakness, but He gave you many tools to resist to fight. So the fight is like we got sick. Let us say I have a virus now, okay? But yeah. God, He gave me white sails to fight the virus he did not leave me alone mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you understand okay so either you give up to the virus or mm -hmm. you fight hard against it so if you are a truthful person you fight against it even though you are still a sinner but you are fighting you are uh -huh. doing your best god is watching god he knew what yeah. you are doing so that is the person who we can call him christian for his fighting no. sin no i no cp i'm not trying to argue with you but I, I sincerely don't understand. Okay, like what you're referring to is uh, intentional sin, right? What I'm referring not to is not necessarily, not necessarily, not necessarily, because sometimes, no, 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 my friend, I, I don't want to go uh, like you know, intentional. There's nothing. It's called intentional, not intentional. It, all sin is intentional. All sin. You know it's wrong. When you go really? sleep with yes, when you go and sleep with the woman, she is not yours. You know it's wrong. What intentional? Like what happened? You were in the bed and suddenly the, the roof opened and a woman jumped in the top of you? What intentional? Like you remind me of a fatwa where it says if a, if a man, he has a private part, enter is a woman, a, a private part in X an accident. How that can happen? Like what? You were driving your car and then you 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 you, you shoot the brake and then you hit the woman before you. This is funny, funny and silly. There's nothing it's called not intentional. All sin is intentional because God gave you a brain. You are not an animal. You are not a uh, you know. You are not a mosquito. You are not a goat. You are a human being who have a brain. So you know that this is wrong. When you shed the blood of a person, you do not know that this is wrong. When you steal a money, you do not know that this is wrong. When you look at a woman, she is no, not but, yours. You, you know that this is wrong. So there's nothing is called not intentional. This is an excuse. People they like to give themselves excuse. Me myself, no, you know. Okay, I want to feel comfortable. I want to feel. I want to feel better. So I give myself excuse about what I did. Yeah, but Paul, but Paul said in his letter, right? Mm. I, I, I've read the Bible. Mm. You know, he said that uh, he talks about unintentional sin. Paul was saying that the things I want to do, I do not do. The things I do not want to do, yet I do. Oh, what a wretched man I am. You, you, you know that verse? No, this is, if you saw Paul always speak in a sarcastic way. Like a second ago, I was talking about myself as an ugly person. All right? Make fun yeah. of myself. Doesn't mean I, Paul, he's saying he's ugly. So you need to understand what Paul, like Paul, what he says, uh, uh, if my lies, and the Muslim, they say, you see, uh, Paul is saying he's lying. Paul is not saying that. People accuse him that he's lying about Jesus being God. He's lying about the Bible. So he says, if my lie is about to glorify in him, not myself. So what lie will do to me? So is he saying no. he's lying? He's, he's not saying he is lying. No. He is saying that his lies are not lies. No. What Paul is saying is that he's unable to overcome his sin. He said, right, the things I want to do, I do not do. The things I do not want to do, yet I do. Oh, what a wretched man I am. Who shall save me from, you know? So he, he's okay. So this, this is a per okay. When a person he meditate and speaking to the Lord saying, you know, Lord, be with me. Lord, help me. You see, we don't claim victory by ourselves. We claim victory by the Messiah. But the truth is, was Paul able, able to fight his sin? Yes. And the proof, he sacrificed his life. He left his life 
the, the fancy life he used to have. He's a he's a Roman citizen. He is a big shot in the in the Roman Empire. And then he leave and he followed Jesus. He and he start walking, uh, making tents just to make earning to make living. So Jesus, you know, Jesus, he saved Paul, and Paul he was not alone. So you are speaking like now you. Now you are saying to yourself, okay, yeah. okay, uh, Messiah, help me. I yeah. am, you know, uh, what I can do, what I shall do. This is how you compare yourself with, to what Paul is saying. Paul, he did not became like he was yesterday. He was a, a, a different person. Today, he's just a new person. Yes, the, the Lord, he saved him. The Lord, he spoke to him. But in the same time, there is a process of this person to go through his life. He's suffering. So he is meditating. He's asking God, talking to God. That is not... Mm -hmm. Paul being or saying that I am doing sin which is not intentional you see if I do things I do things I do not want to do I do things I don't want to do which means he is resisting those things he knew they are wrong yeah so if I, I just say to you like okay uh, uh, you see somebody you see uh, uh, let us say money you are walking in the street and you saw money in the, you know, fail from the pocket of somebody walking in front of you. You know that this is not your money. Even if you found it in the ground, you do not steal it. But this is a stealing. So here you have, you do something. You take the money and you pick it up and you put it in your pocket. So you do something you don't want to do. Yeah. You don't want to do. You know it's wrong, but you do it because you get tempted. So you do sin always intentionally. The only sin I can say not intentional, let us say, I killed a person. I'm driving my car and I hit a person. Is killing is a, is a sin? Yes. But I did not want to kill him. I never drove my car to kill anyone. So in this case, maybe we can say it's not meant to, to this is not a sin actually, because you did not really uh, think about it. This is not what you why drive the car. So this we can't say this is really a sin. This is an accident. Okay. I understand. I, I understand. So I, I got another question which is related as well. This is also a very difficult question. And I think you are the best person to answer it. Now the question is that even the Christians cannot decide, right? Are the Ten Commandments valid for today? Because some Christians say that, you know, the Ten Commandments are under the Old Covenant. So you, you say see, when you... My friend, my friend, my friend. It's not, this is not about the Christian. It's, it's up to them to say or not to say. The Ten Commandment is the same commandment of the Messiah himself. He is the Lord of the Jews. He is the Alpha. He is the Correct. Omega. He gave them the commandment. However, you see, the Jews, they have a wrong understanding of the commandment. As an example, when Jesus says to mm -hmm. them, Sabbath mm -hmm. was made for the man, not the man was made for the Sabbath. Okay. So mm -hmm. the Jews, they are commanded not to work in the Sabbath. But the Jews, they took it literally. They took the reason for it. That the Sabbath was not made for God. So now if somebody mm -hmm. is sick, somebody is dying, what we do? We don't help him? Because it's Sabbath? If somebody is no, angry, no, we don't feed him? No, no, no. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm answering you. So the, the yeah. commandment of God being given to, to us and we keep them. The difference is oh, so that Jesus, Jesus, he explained the wrong understanding of the Jews. This is why he says, Sabbath was made for the man. Not man was made for the Sabbath. Which means the man come first. Oh. So if 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 doing something in the Sabbath to save a man or for the benefit of the man, then we do it. The Sabbath is not for God. You see, the Jews they used to work seven days a week. They love money, so they want to make more money. And they even they, some of them they, they, the slaves cannot take a break. Nobody rest. So yeah. Sabbath was to enforce them to take a break. It was for their so, benefit. So, Otherwise, God, what He would do with your Sabbath? What What God will do with your Sabbath? Nothing. He will rest. So, so your answer is that the Ten Commandments are still valid for Christians under the New Covenant. There is nothing is called a New Covenant and Old Covenant. It is the same God, and we have a oh. better understanding. As simple as that. Like the same when the Jews they wanted to stone the women. Correct. Uh -huh. Okay. The Jews are doing the the Law of Moses. The law which is given to Moses, the, the, the law is given in the Old Testament. So, what Jesus says to them, if one of you without sin stone your, throw your stone, he did not say don't do it. He didn't say it's not valid. Yeah. He didn't say I abrogated it. He didn't say I change it. He says all of you are a bunch of hypocrites. Then, if the Ten Commandments are still valid today, hmm. 
Then why is it that there's another verse? Sorry, these are very sincere questions. I, I really don't understand. That's why I'm asking you. Hmm. Now, um, if the Ten Commandments are still valid, there's a, there's a verse I can't remember where is it. You know, in the New Testament, that says right that whoever is under the Spirit, they are not under the law. So, how do you become a real Christian? Do you become a real Christian by following the Ten Commandments? Jesus, He said, "I came to fulfill, not to destroy." He came to fulfill, not to destroy, to complete. So, his coming is to complete, and is complete by him. He gave us the understanding. Yeah. He gave us the explanation. He gave us, like, as an example, the Jews always, yeah. because this is what the law teaching them, you should not eat this, you should not eat that. But, and the Jews, they took yeah. it, like, because if you eat them, that will make you dirty. This is not the reason. So, eating those things are forbidden for your benefit, like forbidden the pig. Because the pig, he eat anything in the ground, including dead people. You know, this we are talking about time where people get killed and they throw in the road, and the people crucified and they left in the in the they, they throw them and dump them in the dumpster. So pigs, they eat anything. Yeah. So it was forbidden for a reason. So Jesus then he said, it's not what go inside your mouth will make you dirty. It's what come from your mouth. But did he say yeah. that that uh, the, the the old teaching is wrong? He did not say that. He correct their understanding. This is not about being dirty and clean. What make you clean is not what make you dirty, as you think. What make you clean is what your mouth coming out, the word coming out from your mouth, is not eating some piece of meat. That will not make you dirty. It's your words, your mouth. Yeah, but, but, but you haven't answered my question. My question was, the, the verse in the New Testament says, right, for anyone who is under the law, hey, sorry, for friend, anyone friend, who is under the listen, 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 uh, just to make it simple for you. There's yeah. in that uh, the, the Jew has been given the law, waiting for the Messiah to come. You know that, right? Okay, okay, now the Messiah came, yeah. So, the salvation before it was by following the law, step by step, the salvation of the Messiah by believing in the Messiah and whatever the Messiah he said to us. So before people they have a law and the only way to be saved is the law to be obedient to okay. the law after the messiah okay. the messiah is your savior is not the law however yeah. the law is still there nothing changed the old the, the, have you ever heard of a christian saying to you we don't believe in the old testament no okay so law was given and given for a reason a law yeah. was given to someone who's exist three thousand years ago for a reason now, is that if that law was given, there's a law yeah. was given for a reason at that time. As an example, when Musa says to them, uh, if you want to go and uh, do uh, your dirt, you have to walk away from the camp, etc. What does this have to do with me today? Nothing. Because, you know, my bathroom is in my house. The things is a lot cleaner. So there's things have to do with timing and reasoning of timing. There's things have to do with eternal purpose. Eternal purpose not to lie, not to kill. Not to cheat, yeah. Not to steal. Those will not to change. But there's other things which is have to do with certain things. They, the Jews they live in their time. They are not for today. They are for the Jews who live at that time. So you are mixing okay. things up. You are mixing things up about things given for a reason, about and about the commandment. The commandment, nothing changed in it. Nothing changed in it. Like do now, we, okay. do the Christian believe that we should kill? Do the Christian believe we should steal? Do the Christian believe that we should commit adultery? Do the Christian believe that we should do it? Uh, the whole com no. The Christians they still believe in the Ten Commandment. Nobody can say. Oh, so what you are saying? So what, what you are saying is that the principle of the Ten Commandments are valid, but the Ten Commandments are not valid. Uh, is that what you are saying? My friend, the Ten Commandment is valid because if the if the Ten Commandment is not valid, how the principle is valid? <laughs> you are funny. My friend, no, no, the no, no, Ten Commandment no, no. is valid. This is why we have to obey the principle of the Ten Commandment. I cannot steal. I cannot yeah. kill. It is valid for eternity. It is not for certain time. I was speaking about things is not in the Ten Commandment. Those things are law made for people to survive, for their health, for their safety, for their security. That's it. But the Ten Commandment, it was not temporarily. It was not for a certain time. Do you understand me? 
E, I think so. Okay. Now, listen, I have to go back to my topic. Now, you decide to leave yeah. Islam, feel free, think, read the Bible yeah. again carefully. Salvation is granted in the Bible, and the verses is so clear. It stays in the front of you. I'm quoting now Matthew 7, 21, 23. Not everyone, and this is the verse always I repeat, because it's very important. Yeah. Not everyone yeah. says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of the heaven, but the one who does the will of my father so the will of his father is the Ten Commandments the will of his father not to kill the will of the father is not to steal the will of the father is not to lie the will of the father is not to be hypocrite the will of the father is is there so you do the will of the father and you call him Lord and then your salvation is granted so now we have a clear clear things Jesus is asking us for to be this is why he says be perfect like your father be holy be holy which means it's a project to work in you will not be holy you will never be holy but be holy be holy follow me and the one who follow me he will be victorious so every christian will be saved and the true christian is the one who do his work as much as he can to be holy he is not going to be holy and no man will be holy all of us who are sinners but it's a it's a mission to walk through who said to you that the Christian Prince is holy. I am NOT a holy man I'm a sinner man <laughs> So me the sinner man. I cannot be saved by myself I need the Messiah to help me the Messiah to save me. So me I mm. fight my sin by his help and mm. I work hard against my sin which means I work against myself because myself mm. will bring me into temptation into sin so I work against myself and I go and fight it and that's what the Messiah is saying so if you are a truthful person you fight your sin if you are not you give up you live it and you think that you are a Christian fake a Christian by putting a cross in your neck but yet you are a mm. drug dealer you are a criminal you are a rapist you are a person who even is not good to his parents. You are a person who is not even good to his neighbor. You are, you are a fake Christian. That is what Jesus is talking about. True Christians are saved. There's nothing is called true mm -hmm. Christian, by the way, and not true Christians. Either you are Christian or not. This is why he says you cannot like uh, you uh, you cannot be either either you are sweet either you are hot or cold. Warm water is disgusting. So so in Christianity is not exist. So either you are warm or cold so I can swallow you. A Christian who is so-so is not exist. He is now Christian. He have to have yes, a taste and the taste have to be good. My friend, I have to go back to yes, my topic. Sorry. You took me away, yeah, yeah. away yeah, from for, my topic. Sorry for interrupting you. No problem. Thank, thank, thank you for taking the time to speak to me. I, You're welcome. I didn't mean to interrupt no you know, the conversation. I'm happy Just that, that you left Islam and that's a good, a good thing at least. Thank you, my friend. Yeah. Take care. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. Now, does a Christian Christianity guarantee salvation? Yes, but not to the hypocrite. Christ is not a person who wants shahada. You say two words and you put your finger up to the sky and that's it. You are saved. That's that's silly and stupid. Or you say in the name of Ar-Rahman uh, uh, 33 times. What? You say, uh, Allah, uh, grant me a paradise, grant me paradise, grant me paradise, three times you go to heaven. What is that? What is that? This is this is silly. This is additional proof that Muhammad, he cannot be a prophet of God. And look at this hadith here. Allah, he come down every night and ask people, what, who is praying for me? I mean, if God is all-knowing, why he need to come down to the third, to the lowest heaven? You have a God who have to come down physically every night so he can hear you Allah he have a wrong reception he have a bad reception you see Christians the Muslims are doing better job than you they gave me 41 dislike the Christian only they gave me 1.2 like Muslims make it 44 that will make it Alibaba and the 44 thieves. That is the story of your prophet. He's Alibaba. He said, attack the Christians so you can take their money. It's all about money. It's all about women. 
where is the money will come from from the Christians now we go back here where Muslim they claim that this is a miracle done by Allah even the verse doesn't say that the verse says that moon the moon is split and the judgment day is near it doesn't say even who is the one who split the moon and by the way the moon never split because if it does we can prove it today do you know what split mean it mean became two separated pieces which mean the moon should not be exist that's it split it became two moons Do we have it to look what happened? Allah he grew it again. Hmm? What happened? Allah spread the moon. Okay. And what? And then the Quran have verses come after that verse saying that Muhammad he never have a miracle. Why does not Allah speak to us or send a miracle to us? This, uh, they are asking him, so how Muhammad he received miracles already, but the Arab, they keep saying to him, why do you have no miracles? Look, all those verses saying the same. They keep saying to him, why, why you have no sign? Moses have signs. Jesus have signs. All the prophets of God have signs. Where is your sign? And then the Muslims desperately, they say to you, the moon split. But the verses who came in the Quran after that verse saying there's no sign. <laughs> Where is the signs? Everybody is a question. Why this guy, he don't have any sign. And look what Muhammad answered them. Just to show you how silly he says and there is no animal that walk upon the earth nor a bird flies but it is two wings what it is nation like you what does this have to do with this they are asking you for a sign like imagine i say why you don't have food and then you say to me there is no truck walking in the street and does not have a driving uh, like a driver does not have a driving license what does this have to do with this they are asking you how come you don't have a sign you say to them all animals are nations like you no sign is a miracle sign from God sign is a miracle when we say the word sign here they are asking for a miracle the word in Arabic is ayah. Ayah is a perfect act which is made by God. This is why the Khomeini, they call him Ayatullah al-Khomeini. Ayah. Perfect of Allah. So they believe that those men, who they call them ayah, they put the word ayah before him, that they are a miracle of God. They are perfect. Where is the... Where, the, the whole Quran saying Muhammad have no signs. And then Allah, he claimed that he sent signs, but you don't see it. Where are the signs? <laughs> Where is the signs? Right? Somebody saying the law of the gospel go hand in hand. The one is complementing the other. Okay. Yeah, we are not saved by the law, but we have to obey the command of God. It's not, this is why Jesus is saying it clearly that, you know, this is what Christianity believe. It's not your deed will save you, but your deed is a must. So you are saved by your faith, but your faith is to do the will of God. What is the will of God? Don't kill. Don't steal. Don't do this. Don't do that. And this is all done voluntarily. We don't want to go and repeat ourselves again and again. I think people they have a delay in the sound. So where is the where is the where is the miracle of Muhammad? He have no miracle. He have false prophecy. The Muslim they say to you actually as an example, they say to you, do you know that Muhammad he prophesied about the Roman?
Muhammad he prophesied about the Roman how is that there's a chapter it's called the chapter of the Roman and then Muhammad he says the Roman they are vanquished and after you know they they they, they will be victorious but those people they have a war for 300 years they win they lose they won they lose you go and see search and Google see how many times they won and they lost and Muhammad he made a mistake he says in within a few years according to many Islamic books that Muhammad he was so late to the point even the hadith said that Muhammad he made this statement after they've been victorious let us show you Um. Yes, the Indonesian translation, my friend, is already out. You can click at the link there. People post it. Uh, and you can download. Here we go. Read the hadith. On the day of the Battle of Badr, the Roman had a victory over the Persian. So the believers were pleased with it. With that, then the following verse, Alif Lam Mim, the Roman have been de de defeated, came. Do you see it? I mean, what 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 is the prophecy? So that the 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 people they've been defeated, okay. And now today, Muhammad, he heard the news that the Roman, they've been victorious. So Muhammad, he made a verse about it. And the Muslim, they claim that Muhammad, he predict the future. Muhammad, he said that verse after they won. And the hadith in front of you. Do you see it? Eh, no, this is not Da'if hadith. It says Hassan, which means it's fine, good. Here we go. Do you see it? So what is the prophecy? Let me tell you a prophecy. In 2016, Trump will become a president. This is what happened here. Muhammad, after they won the war, he says the Roman will be victorious. But they are victorious already. Here we go. On the day of the Battle of Badr, the Roman had victory over the Persian. So the believers were pleased with that. Then the following was revealed. And by the way, why the believers were happy with the victory of the Roman? Anyone knows? Because at that time, Muhammad was trying to claim that he is a prophet who believe in the God of the Christians. So the Christians are believers like Muhammad now. Few few years after, Muhammad he changed his mind. The Christians are kuffar. He want to kill them all because they did not accept him as a prophet. Uh, people in the chat how many of you took the took the uh, link uh, download the book in Indonesia and how many of you they repost it in their own G Drive as a link with their friends please don't just share the link the link will not stay there so download the video download sorry the the, the book Quran and science in depth which is in Indonesian language only there's no other book I'm publishing for free only this book and after that you copy the the file and you save it in your G Drive and make it shareable, which means you can make a link to share with others and spread the book around. Please, don't be selfish. Keep it for yourself. The link in my G Drive will be, or the G Drive we used will be uh, not active in 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 two hours from now. All right. Let every Muslim read. And laugh at the science of the Quran. So as you see, until now the Muslims are struggling, trying to show us that Muhammad is a prophet. The moon splitting is not exist. This is a lie. This is an eclipse. 
and Muhammad when he hear about the eclipse or he see the eclipse he go crazy and Muhammad he claimed that eclipse is a sign of the judgment day Prayer for the eclipse. Why? Each time the eclipse happened, Muhammad he go crazy and he get terrified. Hmm? Look at this guy. He said this guy he was practicing shooting arrows. And then he wanted to see how Muhammad he act for the eclipse. I must see how the message of Allah act in a solar eclipse today. So I came to him. He was standing in a prayer, raising his hand, glorifying Allah, praising him, acknowledging that he is the only deity, making supplication until the sun was clear. That is the moon splitting. Muhammad is a prophet of God. What is the evidence? The science where the sun set in the murky water and the baby and the women have a sperm coming from her ribs and the man have a sperm coming from the backbone. I mean, isn't it this is obvious? Do you remember the hadith about <clears throat> where a guy, he says to him, I will give you a question. Only prophet, he knew the answer for them. Look at this story. A man, he came to Muhammad and he said to him, I will give you a question nobody knows, save a prophet. But that's mean the guy who is asking the question is a prophet too, because nobody knows the answer for them, save a prophet. And he the answer. He himself, the one who was asking the question, he knew the answer. That means he's a prophet too. So he came to the prophet and he says, I will ask you about the three things which nobody knows unless he is a prophet. Well, you are a person who knows. That's mean now we have two prophets. We have this guy, his name is Abdullah ibn Salam, and we have Muhammad himself, two prophets, because both of them, they knew the correct answer. And then what is a serious question? Look at the serious question. What is the first meal the people will eat in paradise? Hamburger. Dumburger. No, no, say hamburger. Dumburger. No, hamburger, Dumburger. I mean, what does this have to do with being a prophet of God? The first meal in paradise. Okay, how Muhammad he knew this? Look at this. What is the first meal people will eat in paradise? And what make the baby look like his father? Oh, or mother? Uh huh. The people say just, just now. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Wee 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 wee. Jibril is coming. Wee 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 wee. Jibril is open the car, the the door. Jibril, he, he, you know, walking step of Jibril. Jibril, he coming to the prophet. Jibril, he delivered for the prophet. Bingo. Just now, Jibril had informed me. If 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 if. Okay, what Jibril informed you? Listen at the information which is coming from Allah. So Muslim cannot say this is a lie. This is Jibril told him. This is not Muhammad guessing. Read. He says, uh, and Jibreel, by the way, is the enemy of the Jews. <laughs> How is that? <laughs> and then he says, as for the first portent of the hour, the first meal, it will be, uh, sorry, the, the first uh, sign of the hour, it will be the fire collect people from the east and the west. But there's only two directions, east and west. Okay. And then, as for the first meal of people of paradise, it will be the, the loop of the liver of the wheel. And we explained to you before why, right? Who remember why? 
Why Muhammad promising people that they will have a liver of the whale when they go to heaven as a first meal? Anyone knows? Six. Here we go. The prophet of the proof that Muhammad is a prophet. He is a proving He is saying to them, the first meal Allah will give you. Eat the liver of the. Okay, how big this liver is? How many whales there is in heaven? Allah will open a butcher house to feed uh, more than a billion human being, including the one who died before us, to eat liver. All the Muslim will be sitting, and there is like a lot of red liver, and everybody his mouth is full with blood, because this is liver is not cooked, fresh liver of the whale. <coughs> Why? Because the Arab, they have rumors that if you eat the liver of the whale, you will be very good in bed. So this is the first meal. It's a Viagra. Okay, and now Muhammad, he get more intelligent. Remember, the one who told him this information is Jibreel. So Muslim cannot say, Muhammad, he was guessing. Muhammad, he made a mistake. No, he says, Jibreel, just inform me. That's it. This is Jibreel, which means Allah. And then he said, and as for the how the baby looked like, let us go move it Arab. Okay. Now Muhammad will explain to us how the baby looked like his parents. What is the reason? Look at this. He says, then, and uh, if uh, uh, and if a man this charge proceed of the women then the child resembled the father <laughs> science Jibreel told him Jibreel which mean by the way he will be a boy I can show you different how he says at the car at the car which mean became a male so if the man have orgasm first the baby will look like the parents and he will be a male if the women have this charge first the baby will be a female okay That is taught by Allah. And then the guy, he said to him, wow, how you know that? You must be a prophet. If the women have this charge first, then the child resemble the mother. Science. This is a this is science of Allah. There's no way Muhammad is lying here. It's true. This is proven to be true. And this is why if I ever I get married, I will never have an orgasm first. I will let my wife have it first. I don't want my son to look like me. I mean, that is horrible. I will never do that to my kid. This is the proof of your prophet. The Quran say the same. The Hadith say the same. And Muhammad, he made it. He, Muhammad, he never stopped repeating the same thing. Like here, the Messenger of Allah said, "The man water is thick," because the the, the Muslim they start saying to you, "Oh, he meant something else. He's talking about the DNA, and he's talking about blah 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 and chromosome. What the chromosome? Read it. The water of the man is thick and white. The water of the women is thin and yellow. And what is that water?" It is something the women she see in her private part. So it is not something internal. It is something external. It's coming out. This is why the Quran in chapter 86, verse number 6 and 7, says gushing fluid. 86, verse number 6 and 7. This gushing fluid coming from where? Coming from the ribs of the women. And the backbone of the man. Read with me. This is Ibn Kathir, not my interpretation. Meaning sexual fluid. It is what? It's confirmed to be a sexual fluid, not a chromosome. Sexual fluid comes out breasting forth. So this is the orgasm. Come out breasting forth out not in out from the man and the women 
Thus, the child proceeded from both of them by the permission of Allah for sure. The permission of Allah, are you kidding me? Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. Wonderful. Here we go. Miracle science. All right. What do you say, people? Is that really what the prophet of God, who God taught him, Jibreel, just informed me? Women, they have gushing sexual fluid coming from their ribs. And by the way, it's not even the ribs. It is the location of the necklace. Do we have any Muslim want to say something? My, my Skype is open. And by the way, the two sheikhs who did call me two days ago, and I asked him about their prophet, and they could not answer. They asked me to speak to me in private. Maybe they will leave Islam. You remember the two sheikhs who called me, and they were so excited. Yeah, they send me a message. They want to talk to me in private. I hope they will denounce Islam and they will accept the Messiah soon. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? As you see, Islam is a very silly cult. You know, okay, this is my open challenge, nice challenge, a friendly challenge to the Muslims. You see, we Muslims, we love you, we really care for you. We don't hate you. We will never hate you. But this is my challenge. The Quran says in one of the verses, the following. The Christian, they said, the Christian and the Jews, they said, no one will enter heaven unless he is a Christian or a Jew. And then Allah said to the Christians, bring your proof if you are truthful. Can I ask you the same question? Bring your proof if you are truthful. I can prove it to you very easy. From the Quran, here we go. <laughs> I do not even need to prove it to you. The Quran confirmed that the Christians they go to heaven. Muhammad later he changed his mind. This is proof that Allah is a false god. Surely those who believe and those who are Jews and the Christians and the Sabian and whoever believe in Allah, la, 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 they have no fear they are going to go to heaven. Do you see it? So chapter 2 verse number 62 confirmed that Christian and Jews for sure go into heaven and he add the star worship and the Sabian which is proven to us again that Muhammad must be a false prophet because how a star worshiper became in heaven. So how a Muslim can prove to me that he will go to heaven? You cannot. Because even your prophet said it clearly, 
in the Quran not even a single one of you but he will enter hell Nineteen seventy-one, and look at the translation. None of you, but shall come to it. Is that true? No. Nineteen seventy-one interpretation. Here we go. What come to it? What do you mean come to it? It says wariduha. Wariduha does not mean come to it. They lie in the translation. Always. They cannot be truthful. Guys, do you see it? Read carefully what it says. This is the Muslim interpretation, not mine. That not one of you, but shall come to it, and but shall enter hell. Do you see it? Do you see it? Every Muslim, according to the Quran, he will enter hell. Yeah, enjoy your trip. And this is not my interpretation and this is not my translation this is the official government website of the kingdom of jordan in the hadith muhammad he say the following uh, let us see this one Muhammad says none of you and here the translation is false they add the word alone but look this translation does not have alone what happened it's the same sentence because the translator is a liar read it carefully Allah messenger said the deed of any of you will not save you from hellfire they said, even your prophet will not be saved by your deed. He said, even I, unless Allah, he warped me with his mercy. Do you see it? So, well, so what do you mean in the Quran, the one who do good deed, the one who give Muhammad donation, Allah will double his reward, Allah will send, forgive him. It's a lie. He just said to them, all your deed will not save you. Uh, Muslim Piyapar, he's saying, why you are selective? Okay, I'm not selective. Show me something good. Guys, I'm not selective. Here we go. <laughs> I'm not selective. Show me something. Okay, you see, when you say selective, still you can't answer it. So what do you want me to do? If I pick up for you, let us say Christian Prince is picking the bad apple, but that's mean there's a bad apple. So how Muhammad is a prophet and he says stupid things. The bad apple proved Muhammad to be a bad prophet, false prophet, fraud. So what do you mean selective? Do you want me to read for you the verse where Muhammad saying any Muslim woman give herself to the Prophet? Okay, I'm not going to be selective. Who is a Muslim want to show me something good about Muhammad? Here we go. I'm going to take a break from bad stuff about Muhammad. No, I go in Saturday in the morning, so people, morning my time, so people from Asia, Indonesia, Philippines, uh, uh, Thailand, uh, India, they can be with us. Who is a Muslim want to give me something positive about Muhammad? Like what? Like what? There's a guy, he wanna call me, his name is Iqbal. Okay, give me his ID, we will call him, no problem. Give me your ID, Mr. Iqbal.
Give me your Skype ID, please. I know that people who their name is Iqbal, they have a lot of knowledge. You cannot buy paradise? Okay, that's mean uh, Muslim proper. Abbas, you just said your prophet is a liar. Because the Quran says, if you give Allah a loan, Allah forgive your sin. That is a bribe. And the Quran in front of you. What is the requirement to go to heaven? Read it carefully. Money. If you lend into Allah a goodly loan, he will double it for you. We go and we see Muhammad collecting money. It's about money. If you give Allah a loan, have you ever heard of a God he's begging for money? Can't Allah make Muhammad find all the gold in the world? Can't Allah order the diamond to come from the ground for Muhammad? Even, even the oil in Saudi Arabia is not, is not Allah who found it. It was the American and the English people. You cannot bribe God. You can in Islam. Here we go. Any Muslim would like to say something? Uh, fl uh, flesh, we don't have time for kids here. Anyone have an excuse that he's been blocked for being a child? You can make an account again. And you can call me. They block only idiots who they are kids. Wasting our time. Have you ever seen me blocking someone he claimed to be a sheikh? We welcome them. Who have a long beard here? He would like to call me right now. Who is an ustad here? You are not a liar. That money is not for Allah. He does not need money to help the poor. Hold on, guys. Muhammad, Muhammad, Allah do not need money. Okay, who is the one who collect the money? Muhammad. Let us see what Muhammad he do with the money. How many slaves Muhammad he have and how many wives and where the money is coming from? The Muslim who said, the money is not for Allah. It's to help the poor. Who is the poor here, Muhammad? Muhammad is a poor man. He have 13 wives and hundreds of slaves. Who is feeding them? Who is the one? What, what is the job of Muhammad? What he do for a living? Any Muslim can tell me what Muhammad he do for a living? Okay, I think Muhammad Iqbal is posting his Skype. <coughs> uh, can you guys post it again? <coughs> can you post it again so we can see <coughs> his Skype and we copy it? The text was moving so fast. I could not get it. Iqbal, what is your uh, ID, please? Okay, Muhammad Iqbal. I don't think this is an ID, my friend. This is not an ID. Uh, can you post it again, Mr. Muhammad?
You call me while you block me? How you can call me you block you? You can make a new Skype if you are blocked as you claim. Stop making so so why you are asking me to add you if you are saying I blocked you? And what is the proof that I blocked you? And I don't know you. I have tens of thousands of people are blocked. They send me stupid words, threat. You know, I block people because they are stupid. That's mean you are one of them if you are blocked really. And if you really want to call, you can make a new Skype name in two seconds and call me. That is an excuse. It's a false excuse. Who is a prophet who is asking the women to the asking Muslim to give donation? And the donation is women. Have you ever heard of a donation like this? A prophet of God, his God, he made the verses saying to him, it's lawful for you, women as the following. Let us see who is feeding those women. O prophet, your wives, who is feeding the wives of Muhammad? What was the salary of Muhammad? To the point he have all those wives. I want to know how somebody in the world today, he have, he's a poor man, yet he have many wives and he feed them all. And not only that, every woman, she have a bunch of slaves to serve her. You see how poor Muhammad is? How many slaves every wife of the Prophet they have? Very poor. And the verse in the front of you says, your right hand possess. So you can't say there's none. <laughs> like the guy we called him, you know, the, sh the two sheikhs who call me, he says, show me where the Prophet have his slaves. Muhammad, he opened the door, he received Mary, the copt, and her cousins, and her niece, whatever, all of them one package. You see how poor he is? And then Muhammad, he asked women to give donation. What the donation? Give yourself to the Prophet. It's lawful for you, Prophet, all the women you married and women who they are your uh, slaves and the daughters of your uncle and the <laughs> look, all this verse is about sex. Just sex for the Prophet is just a privilege for the private part of Allah Prophet. In the top of that, and any believing women, she gave herself to the Prophet. And here they, they add to marry her. What is the word to marry her? It's not exist as a privilege to thee only it's a privilege to who Muhammad is not a Muslim Muhammad he have a different law he don't follow the law of Islam a Muslim man he can have four Muhammad any believe in women she can give herself to the Prophet what does this have to do with God and what that will do to God and what kind of God he says, I have a prophet, I want you Muslim women to give your private part to him. You know what I mean? What what does what this have to do with God? What kind of God and what kind of a prophet? What kind of God he says, Hey prophet, hey women, Muslim women, I want you to give yourself to the prophet. Huh? Give yourself. But the guy is not a single. Like if Muhammad is trying to find a woman and he cannot find one and Allah is helping him, I would say, okay, I understand this guy is single. This guy already have tons of women. They are laying down in his bed. So what this verse is about? And any believing women she offer herself. Uh, we have Mr. Ali, Justin, he's saying poor knowledge. Okay, Ali, why you don't call me and help me with the knowledge, Mr. Ali? Mr. Ali can help you. Mr. Ali, he have the knowledge. Are you there, Mr. Ali? What do you think about you? Call me and show me your knowledge. And then I will be happy to learn from your knowledge. Why you Muslims are hiding your knowledge from us?
Why do they want to share your knowledge? Amazing knowledge. Who is a Muslim would like to call me right now and share the amazing knowledge? Because as you see, I have a poor knowledge. I don't understand why Allah is making a verse saying any woman she want to give her private part to the Prophet. You can't tell me why. And what that will accomplish to Allah. Hmm. Anyone? Who is a Muslim and tell us what this have to do with God? Why God is making verses to the Muslims? What if an Ustad right now in Indonesia, he go in the morning, he says, I receive a message from Allah saying any Indonesian, Indonesian Muslim women, she want to give herself to me. What you respond, Muslims? Shouldn't you ask him why? Why? Why God is saying that to you? You don't want to question that? All cult leaders, they share one thing. They want your money and they want to sleep with your women. Prove me wrong. Anyone? He's a prophet of God. I mean, his message is, to teach you about being holy, to be good, not about saying any women she want to give herself to me, take me baby. And his guy, he have a lot of women already and he have many slaves sleeping with them already. So why he want more? My friend, the Indonesian book is already out and we posted the link. And please download it from that link. People share when somebody asks. So you can download. And the link will disappear soon. So download the video, put it in your G drive, and share it with your friends. And this is my gift to the beautiful people of Indonesia. Muslims and Christians, we love you all. You know, when we speak against Islam, does not mean we are against people. We are not against who call themselves Muslims. Actually, I feel sorry for them. They are victims. They lie to, they don't speak Arabic, they have no idea what is written in the book, and they, they are good people. You see what Jesus said, time will come, and people will think by killing you, they are doing favor to God. But which God? Who is a Muslim when I tell me why Allah is insisting that women should give themselves to the Prophet? What does have to do with God? A Prophet who have already many women. What for? No answer. No answer. He asked for the money. The best of the booty to the Prophet. Why? Hey guys, if you go to that house and you steal the furniture, the biggest TV in the house is mine. Hmm. Why is that? Privilege to the Prophet. The fifth of every attack goes to the Prophet. Is that true? Why Muhammad he will take the fifth? He will take the fifth before you give it to the poor. And by the way, who is the poor? So you steal from the Christian, you give it to the poor. What poor? You should know that the fifth of the attack is to Allah and Allah Apostle. And then after that is for the orphan and the kids. Do you see it? So if if the Muslims attack a house and the house have ten thousand dollar, Muhammad alone. Let us say there's ten thousand soldier. Let us do some calculation here. Who want to help me in the mathematics? 
I cannot use the calculation of Allah because it's all over wrong, proven to be wrong. So if Muhammad he received from an attack, from a theft, this is what attack is. 10,000 dollar from an attack. And then there is 10,000 soldier. 10,000 dollar. And then there is 10 this is 1000 sorry and there is 10000 muslim soldier okay muhammad alone he take the fifth how much the fifth of 10000 people tell me what is the fifth of 10000 2000 for muhammad Okay, now we have 10,000 men. We are going to divide the 8,000 left for them. What is the number? Somebody give me the number. 80 cents. You see how poor Muhammad? This is a great business. Muhammad is dead poor. Do Allah need money? Obviously, yes. And who is the one who would take the money? Muhammad. The fifth will be divided among the. Uh, uh, listen, listen. The fifth. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can show you right now. Who? Anyone who speak Arabic? Who is a Muslim like those two guys who called me just two days ago? If you can call me, please call me right now, and I will make you see how the money of this is divided. It's a privilege to the Prophet, the best of the booty, the fifth of the booty, and women, and marrying without like uh, parents without witnesses even witnesses there is no way to witness you go to a woman in the bedroom you says you are my wife if you are Muhammad and all of this money by the way is a theft okay I want to ask uh, a proper how you would divide the women you steal the fifth you said the fifth is to the poor right okay let us say you attack the Jews and now you took 500 women how you divide those women and children's to the poor any Muslim can tell me you are saying that this is a money will be given to the poor claiming okay you attack you have a thousand women and a thousand child how you divide the percentage between Allah and the Muslims. Give me your thought, please. <laughs> you give the poor human? Hey, you are poor? I'm going to give you 10 slaves. Ibrahim and Thutar. Islam is very generalism. Islam will kidnap your children and will give them to the poor Muslims. And that will make you a very, very rich person because you can sell the slaves. Huh? You see what the Muslim Prabhupada says? The slaves are sold for money. So uh, Muslim Piyapar, guys, be my witness. Muslim Piyapar Abbas, he gave us a ju another jewelry of his choice. He says, Islam, take the slaves and sell them for money. Islam take the slaves and sell them for money women became slaves and some will be sold and the money will be spent on the poor <laughs> I mean you see how good this religion is we kidnap women from their husband 
and now we sell them they are they used to be free we kidnap them we sell them out and just to give to the poor <laughs> <laughs> oh boy anyway this guy is just a kid anyway I wish his parents they can speak to me do we have any Muslim would like to call me maybe maybe you see we are trying to find any reason in really to to find something truthful in those Muslim articles that Muhammad is really a prophet we read the whole article we find no proof of whatsoever Allah supported him with miracles, evidence of people, reason, understanding. What miracles? Like what? What miracles Muhammad he was supported with? Even the Quran says, Muhammad have no miracles. Isn't the Quran says, وَمَا مَنَعَنَا أَن نُرْسِلَ بِآيَاتِنَا I'm typing in English. This is always to happen. Do you see it, Muslims? What made us refrain from sending miracles? Allah saying, I refrain from sending. So where is the miracles of Muhammad? And this is when the funny guys, maybe maybe many of you do not notice this is a this is a verse, it's coming in which verse? Which chapter? Look at this. And we refrain from sending signs only because of a man. Of former generation treated them as false but do you know what chapter this this is the chapter of Isra which means when Muhammad he went to heaven so even this miracle is false there's no witnesses nobody saw it even Aisha she said Muhammad was lifted up to heaven by his spirit not by his body which means he did not move from her bed she witnessed for that and the same chapter saying Allah refrained from sending miracle so if Allah he, he split the moon and Allah he sent Muhammad to the moon or to the sky and then in the same chapter Allah says I refrain from sending miracle which one of them is true which one of them is true The verse in the front of you it says he refrained. The same chapter where supposedly Allah he took him to heaven, but isn't it taking somebody to heaven is a miracle? So the same chapter saying that Muhammad he went to heaven. And by the way, it doesn't say even he took him to heaven. This is one of the stupid things in this in this book. Okay, actually, here we go. The verse in the front of me, where in the verse it says that Allah he took him to heaven. Have you ever heard of a crazy religion like this? Allah, he mentioned he took him to the mosque, which supposedly the Muslim, they claim the Aqsa is the one in Jerusalem. How come he forgot he took him to heaven? Where is the heaven? Which one is more important, to take him to a mosque or to take him to seven galaxies? <laughs> so that's mean the Quran is saying a story and the Muslim, they tell us a story about Muhammad went to the heaven because the Quran never says he went to heaven. My friend, you did not get it. Uh, the, the people they keep asking Muhammad for a miracle, and the verse is so clear. The same verse in the same chapter where about Muhammad went to heaven, it says Muhammad he did not receive a miracle. So how in the first number one says, Praise be to Allah, the one who took him to the to the Aqsa Mosque. This is a miracle. Sending a flying mule, flying donkey with two wings, and he fly all the way to heaven. And then he go to Jerusalem. That is a miracle. And then after that, you say to us, he did not. We did not give him a miracle. After that, and where is the heaven here? Why Allah he forgot to mention that Allah he took Muhammad to the heaven. Why Allah he he saying he took him to the Aqsa Mosque. That's it. That's what Allah miracle is. Where is the heaven?
Hã? Any Muslim? Here we go, the verse in the front of you. This is the only verse in the Quran speaking about the descendant of Muhammad. He did not descend anywhere. This is a lie. He just went to Jerusalem. He did not go to heaven. This is the verse. Either you say that there is a mistake in the Quran, Allah, he forgot to mention the heaven, which is more important than going to Jerusalem. Guys, which one is more important to report to you that two months ago I went to Germany and I went to France and I went to many country or I went to heaven? What do you think? What do you think, people? Which one is more important? I say to you, two weeks ago I was in Germany. Or, and I forget that I two weeks ago I went to heaven in the same day. So, it's stupid. The story proven Muhammad to be a false man. He forgot to add the heaven there. He forgot it. <laughs> no my friend Jesus he gave all the signs all the prophecies about Jesus they came into happening that is a sign you are being silly don't cut off words and play with it Jesus he made tons of miracles how dare you to say what you are saying you're claiming isn't it Jesus who raised people from death? He made the blind see. This is a sign. Sign here is a miracle. Where is the heaven? What happened? Read the Arabic. What do you mean read the Arabic? Here we go. It doesn't say anything about heaven. Subhanallah asra bi abdihi laylan. من المسجد الحرام إلى المسجد الأقصى الذي باركنا حوله لنريه من آياتنا إنه هو السميع البصير. Where is the heaven? I will shave my twenty foot beard if you show me the heaven. And if it's not there, you need to explain to me why Allah He forgot to mention something extremely important taking Muhammad to heaven. Why the story in the Quran does not match with the story of Muhammad saying he went to heaven? If the Quran is coming from God and Muhammad is speaking for the same God, the story should match. Right? Uh, okay, you guys. Muslim proper, he says, the prophet, he many he have many miracles. Okay, but the Quran says no. So which one you follow? Do you see the hypocrisy? This guy, he called me before many times, he says, if the, if the hadith is against the Quran, we don't take it, we don't accept it. No, he's doing the opposite. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah, he refrained from sending miracles? So Allah, he refrained from sending miracle. You say, no, Allah did, re did not refrain from sending miracle. <laughs> so which one of them is true? Did Allah refrain or Allah did not refrain? So the hadith says, according to you, Muhammad, he, actually one of the miracles of Muhammad, he spoke to, to a dead lizard and he made him say shahada. Is that true, uh, Mr. Uh, Muslim Prepper? Is that true that your prophet, he made a lizard convert to Islam? Is that the miracle you're talking about? A lizard, he took shahada. I thought the lizard is the enemy of Allah. Any Muslim want to call me and tell me about the lizard who converted to Islam? And he said shahada? Okay, but the Quran says, Muhammad, he have no miracle. And why the lizard story is not in the Quran?
what happened Allah have time to tell us about the end she told the other ants about Suleiman but Allah have no time to tell us about a miracle he made a dead lizard convert to Islam and say shahada or two trees they come and they keep Muhammad in the shade during the time who is doing poo, poo or two trees they left their place and they were creeping creeping in their in their belly and they they came to the Prophet to say we, we want to convert to Islam And by the way, why the trees they want to keep Muhammad in the shade during doing poo, poo I mean, how how long he's doing poo, poo Let us say I sit under the tree to do poo, poo Okay. How long? Because they are moving to keep him in the shade. That's me, Muhammad, doing poo, poo like for 10 hours. All those stories are nothing but fabrication. The Quran says, Allah, he refrain. So either we believe in the Quran. Allah keep repeating that they ask me about miracle. Say, I wait and I and wait with them. Uh, we refrain. We never send. We will not send. And then they say to us, no, he had miracles. How the Qur'ans, the Muslim, they say that the moon splitting is a miracle, which is the eclipse, which is funny. This is not moon splitting. And then they say to us that the Qur'an says, Allah, and the verse came after it, Allah refrained from giving miracles. Imagine I make a book about a prophet. From page number one to page number 100, I'm saying the prophet, I'm quoting for you the prophet miracles. And the last statement in the prophet, I say to you, and Allah, he says, I refrain from sending miracles. <laughs> Do you remember the verse where Allah supposedly saying to the, to the, to the, uh, uh, to the people, make Quran like this? And this is a miracle. The Quran is a miracle, supposedly. So by making this statement, you just made a miracle, supposedly. So how there's no miracle? Do you see how stupid the logic is? If Allah in the Quran saying that the Quran is a miracle, that's mean when he said, and we refrain from sending a sign, he is being stupid because he just made a miracle. Nobody can make that. And by the way, nobody can make Quran. This is one of the most funny thing because the Arab they were dying laughing at the Quran, saying to him, "This is asatir al-awwalin. This is nothing but the fairy tales of kids. People they tell it before sleep. And if you want, we can make better than this. But it's stupid. We will not. Look at those verses, chapter six, verse twenty-five, eight thirty-one, sixteen twenty-four. 23, 83, 25-5, 27-68, 46-17, 68-15, 83-13. All of them, they are saying one thing. It is nothing but fairy tales of kids. And not only that, they said, if you want, we can make it the same, but it's stupid. It's like challenging me to make something stupid. Can you put your tongue out like me? Yeah. And it would be a fool to make to, to do that. And when our Quran recite into them, they say, didn't the Muslim they say that when the Arab they heard the Quran, they were like, Wow, crazy my brother, so amazing. Look at them. No, they were laughing at the Quran. Says, We have heard indeed. If we pleased, we could say the like of, of it. This is nothing but fairy tales. Do you see it? Anyway, one more time for people who they are in Indonesia. We today we give our book for free, which is Quran and Science in Depth in the Indonesian language only for free. No other book, Indonesian language. And uh, the admin will post the link for you. Uh, after I finish my broadcast, this link will not be active no more. 
then you have you you Indonesian people you have to share your own link you post it in your G Drive or whatever you want and people they can like I heard somebody saying he posted in Facebook but the link will not be active there the link will be taken will will be empty I will delete the file from my from the drive so you need to share the the, the file in your own drive and share it with your friends it's for free to have a drive uh, sharing in Google all right so please download the book because soon maybe I will go and make some food something and then I will take the, the link off all right so this is my gift to all the Muslims this is my gift specifically to the Indonesian I really care for you I want to save you from the cult of Islam those who worship such a false God they do not know what they are doing and my Lord he use us to warn you time will come and you will be questioned time you will come and you you breathe your loss breathe and you will find that there is no heaven of Allah and there is no Allah and Muhammad is a liar and there is no sex in heaven and heaven is not about sex for God is holy you will find that heaven is not a McDonald restaurant where there's a French fries and yummy yummy that is not God heaven that is a restaurant God heaven is not a refrigerator full of beer and wine God heaven is not a bedroom women they have they are naked and their legs is open excuse my language God heaven is not a pimp house Jesus he entered the temple and he kicked out the Jews who they are just selling in the yard not in the temple in the out yard outside yard he said to them, you made the house of my father a bazaar. You made the house of my father a market. Shame on you. Get out of here. You're a prophet. He made the house of his God a pimp house. That cannot be from God. God is holy, my friend. God is not a pimp. God will not give me a woman and he will describe to me even the size of their breast. What kind of God? What kind of God, he says to me, I will give you women with big boobs. What kind of God this God is? What is this? This is the devil. Follow me, believe in me. I have boobs waiting for you, big boobs. Hey, don't you want boob boobs? We have big boobs here. Yes, big like watermelon. I mean, don't don't we have a brain? Don't we have a brain? Isn't it obvious? This is cannot be from God. Imagine I go right now in the street and he say, hey, I'm a prophet of God. If you believe in me, my God will give you a good big boobs. This is what the verse in the front of you is saying. I am a Christian. I follow the living Lord. The Lord of holiness. Who his word is a true his teaching is decent his wisdom is beyond imagination his holiness cannot be measured his act his proof his fruit is amazing that is my lord not a lord he want to seduce me and tempt me by boobs that cannot be from god Repent, my friend. Repent and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord right now before it's too late. There's no God like that. Just go and watch some porn channels if you want to get that. That is not God. God who promised me a cup of wine is silly God. A God who promised me a bracelet in my hand a silly God. A God who promised me a couch, a pillow. 
What is that? A couch. One verse he says, I will give you a bracelet made of gold. Another verse says, I will give you a bracelet made of silver. And who in the world care for a bracelet of gold? And why a man will wear a bracelet of gold? You want to be pretty? So you are a man now in heaven and you want to be pretty. You put jewelries in your hands. When you want to put the, the bracelet in your feet or in your hand? God who want to provide me with the Gucci. Gucci, Gucci. What kind of God this God is? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? He's speaking to the poor Arab trying to seduce them because they never have a pillow. They never have bracelet of gold. They never have silk cloth. He promised them that you will not suffer from heat because they live in the desert. Even your T-shirt will be green. I mean, how boring and how ugly. Green clothes? Why? I am in a surgery room. And to make it more funny, even he copy a word from the Persian language and it, the Quran says that the Quran is a pure Arabic. So he says to them, I will give you a stabrak. And what is a stabrak? A silk brocade, the market is, the, sorry, the mark, the brand is a stabrak, Gucci. And there, in this heaven, there will be women who nobody put his uh, <coughs> inside their... <coughs> This is God. The God is describing for me what is inside their private part. Who is a Muslim here when I say this is okay? What is inside their private part? Do you see it? This is God. I'm so glad he did not describe what is in the back door. I mean, I'm so glad he stopped there. This is God. This is the Holy God. The one who created the universe is describing for us now what the women she have in her private part as a gift for you. Hey, be happy. There's nobody was there before you. You are the one who will get the uh, silk. Uh, <clears throat> because he knew that those Arab, they enjoy such an act. And not only that, each time you have sex with them, Allah will make them again version. I mean, this is even cheating. You just slept with her. I was stupid. Anyway, guys, we are done for today. And again, remember, please, don't, don't think against the Muslims. Don't, don't hate the Muslims. Be a loving person. We are here to help them. We are here. I'm not making fun of Muslims. I am exposing the lies of the Quran Muslims are victims they need your help they need your love they need your aid not your anger not your curse not your bad language there are people like us there's millions and millions of good people between them and they deserve good to be given to them be good to them my friend be good as the Lord he order you Pray for those who curse you. Forgive those who do wrong against you. Love your enemy. Pray for them. 
that is the Messiah be a good follower of the Christ teaching because nothing will save you except you being a follower not just a believer with empty words we don't believe in Shahada we don't believe in witnesses the witness the true witness to Jesus is the one who witnessed by his act the one who see a poor man he help him not the one who say I pray to Jesus to help you the one if he see somebody is injured he is a Muslim you help him not the one who says I pray to Jesus to help you the one who if he see an old person he need help he need food he feed him not I pray to God to feed you the one who pray too much is hypocrite for he did not do the act his prayer is empty it is a lie it is just to take responsibility which is given to you we don't believe in empty words we don't believe in false God the one who follow him he follow his steps and the steps of the Messiah is wonderful thank you very much for being here and don't forget to download the video immediately because we will not keep it there maybe in two three hours from now we will take it down and please people who they are from Indonesia this is the final chance to download the file of the book and later you have to ask your friends about it Quran and science in depth my gift for you for free and soon I will give more books for free actually in other languages thank you guys for being here may the Lord have mercy on all of us May the Lord open the eyes of the Muslims. May the Lord make us able to share our love with those Muslims so they can see a different image of life. They can see that what Muhammad told them about the Christians is false. We are not evil. We love them. We love them as we love our own family. We love them to the point we want to save them. We love them to the point we spend our time speaking to them to be saved. Not because we hate them be a messenger of God of love for God himself is love may the Lord bless you have a happy weekend I will try to go again maybe later online today if not maybe tomorrow Christ is Lord and Islam is false I mean to that and see you soon thank you <laughs>